Alerts. Alerts. Chatters. Hey. 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 Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Oh, no. Left ear. Why? That's weird. We've never had that problem. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, we're fixing it. Okay. Is that better? Are you guys set? Are you good? That is a crazy alert sound. Okay. Sweatpants, Zach, thank you for the $10. Kai T with $5. Lego with $5. Canivore with $5. Hammy with $3. A bunch of people have donated in this intro. Thank you so much, guys. We're at Austin Pets Alive today. Okay, they reached out to me, um, and we have a very fun day it's gonna be very cute we got here at like 9 a.m and we've, we've walked around you guys are gonna love it okay we're meeting a bunch of dogs we're meeting a bunch of cats there's another dono ross thank you for the dollar we're meeting puppies okay it's gonna be an excellent wholesome time this is also a fundraising stream thank you for the sub fixer jake thank you for the 25 dollars this is a fundraising stream as well you guys um Austin Pets Alive is a no-kill shelter. Um, Austin is now the largest no-kill city in the nation, largely thanks to this organization. Set Range, thank you for the $10.69. Um, we're just gonna hang out here for a few hours today and meet a bunch of adoptable pets. If you're looking for a dog or cat, you may wanna hang out and see see what's up, see what's here. Sunflower seeds, thank you for the $15. Just donated $15 to Austin Pets Alive. Thank you so much. Love to hear that. It's going to be a great time. Um, we're also here with a couple folks from Austin Pets Alive. They're going to walk us around. They're going to help us meet some of the animals. You guys are going to meet them right now. Here they are. Thank you for the $15. Guys, we're here with Jeff. Jeff is the influencer relations officer. He's the one that reached out to me. And then Juan, um, PR specialist. Nice to meet you all. He's yeah, mic'd up. I am mic'd up, and <laughs> so it's exciting. So you guys can hear him. It's exciting. There's a $100 donation. Avery, thank you so much. That's what that sound is. It's going to be obnoxious. No, okay. it's cool. I like Just it. Keep, keep the sounds coming. Yeah, <laughs> keep, keep the, the sounds sound. coming. They love that sound. This is his favorite sound. Um, and Wolf with the 50 and Logan with the 5. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to turn these down a little bit <laughs> so you can introduce. If you guys want to introduce yourselves and just, like, talk about the organization, what we're doing today, that would be great. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, hey, guys. I'm Jeff. As she said, I'm the Influencer Relations Officer. Thank you. I'm the Influencer <laughs> Relations Officer here, um, and I recently started a couple months ago. So our big emphasis over this summer, most of the Austin shelters are really filled up at this point. So we are making a concerted push to get a bunch of animals adopted, a bunch of animals fostered, and just get the word out there with some awesome influencers like Maya that this is going on and we need the help. So uh, thank you all for tuning in, and yeah. Yeah, Jeff, thanks for that. And uh, no, for real, Maya, thanks for being here uh, in, in space. Uh, we are so excited to have you both here. And like Jeff said, there is, you know, um, there is some, you know, issues out in, in with Austin shelters. Um, and I'm actually here to tell you, though, how we're a little bit different than your typical animal shelter. Uh, you know, most animal shelters, you might be thinking, oh, like someone from the public finds a stray and they bring them here. Um, that's usually your muni municipal shelter, municipal shelters. So we're actually more of a, what I like to call a second chance animal shelter, where we basically help the animals that other shelters in the Austin and Central Texas area that need our help. Because there's a lot of animals that whether it's, you know, due to space issues, due to resource issues, um, and, and other issues, medical, behavioral, what have you, there's, there's a lot of animals that are put on euthanasia list, which means that uh, unfortunately, you know, there's no other option uh, than to put them down. But no, here at Awesome Pets Alive, we believe there is another option. And so that's what we're doing. We save these animals by taking in those uh, ones with behavior concerns, taking in those with medical concerns. And um, we, so it's really exciting because we get to help the Austin community in that way. And we have such a, an amazing staff and, and volunteer base that are putting in the work day in and day out. And hopefully we get to show you a little bit of that today. Sweet, perfect. Um, bunch of donuts flying. Thank you for the five. Mr. Vinkel, Curtykins, Magcom, that was $50. Wonderlay, Logan, Wolf, Avery, Mick. Thank you guys for the donuts. Um, I'll turn the sound back up so we can hear them. I can shout them out as we go. Um, but yeah, you got, I'll follow you guys. We can get started. Awesome. 
So yeah, so this is the entrance of the shelter, essentially. You know, you've got, um, oh <laughs> we do have a clinic, actually. Yeah, uh, Which that. is, you know, not something you see every day with animal shelters. Uh, but here we have, uh, actually, I don't know if you're familiar, Maya, with Parvo. Mm -hmm. It's that, uh, you know, a virus that puppies can puppies. get, especially when they're not vaccinated for it. Yeah. Um, and so we're actually, the our Parvo IC Puppy ICU is the first of its kind mm -hmm. in a shelter cool. uh, here in Austin. Wow. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that area of the, yeah. of the tour. But uh, so, yeah, we have a clinic. And so when you walk in, you know, there's a sign that tells you clinic and donations. We also are always looking to the community as a nonprofit to help us with those donations, not just monetary, but also for items and things. Yeah, cool. You guys know how that goes. OK. More donos. Can I? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you so much. What the heck? Wilson Hoppers. Thank you guys for the donos. <laughs> And yeah, feel free if you see some questions come in, I'll be yeah, happy to answer them. Yeah, I will them. let you know. Right now, they're all just barking because they hear barking. That's, that's true, that's yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to have to follow him, so let's just like move to the side and then he can pass us. All right. All right. We'll take your lead, sorry. No, you're good. Um, so yeah, so this is what you first see when you come into our shelter. As you can see, our dog kennels are around us. Mm -hmm. um, and we we have some also play groups all around the shelter. Uh, yeah. Play yards, sorry, not groups, but uh -huh. it's where the play groups happen. We bring some uh, you know, puppies and dogs in there to have some fun. Uh -huh. um, and we only have like two really big rules. Uh, yeah for on campus, by the way, which is if you see a dog walking, we like to give them 10 feet of space. Cool. And um, the other one is just that? to not put fingers. No, it's it's tempting, but don't put your fingers Chat, in the kennels. no fingers in their kennels. <laughs> so like, Got it. we don't okay. want you touching your screens either, all right? Yeah, <laughs> no touching your screens. OK, cool. Um, Faye, thank you for the five. Jen with 33, Abruxas with 25. Thank you guys for the donos. Thank you so much. And Why so, not? Because you don't want to get your fingers bit, guys. This is our most popular photo op in the shelter. Oh People gosh, love taking cute. their picture here at this mural. See, exactly, just like that. We're here. <laughs> Thank you for the $10, Chef. Amazing. OK. <laughs> Excellent. He's cute. He's got little legs. So yeah, we got a little guy here, Boogie Woogie. He's got little legs like my dog. Who took his legs? And so like I was saying, these dogs that, that you're gonna be seeing today are coming from other central Texas area shelters. Yeah. Um, and so it's just great because we get to pull from the shelters and help them when they need the help. And, and we get to help the dogs when they need the help, which is, you know, a lot of the time here, like Boogie Woogie, so. <laughs> He's excited to see everyone. <laughs> saying hi to Chuck. <laughs> That's nice that they have misters. It's like way cooler by those kennels than it is out here. Sweaty tripod with $100. Thank you so much. An X with $5 and Redora with $5 and Chef with $10. And so, like I mentioned, a big part of Austin Pets Alive yeah. is our volunteer base. We have such great volunteers that come out. I've seen and them this morning. They're like <laughs> moving. Yeah, they're in those like bright orange shirts yeah. that are, you know, make me happy to see. But um, they come out and they walk the dogs. They enrich their lives with treats. Uh, yeah. We make sure every dog gets a walk, uh, you know, twice a day at least, and then play groups. Um, and right now, you know, it is very hot here in, in, in Austin and in Central yeah. Texas. So we try to take them out early in the days and late at night. Um, and throughout most of the year, we do have the opportunity for volunteers to take dogs out on field trips and, and take them on walks around the shelter. But right now, because it is hot, we do take the extra measure to not allow that just so that they are safe and we can ensure that they're cooled off. Cool. Corbett, thank you for the 50. Good speed, thank you for the 50. Chester, 25. Blondie with five, thank you so much. Someone asked, how many animals do you have here? So right now, I can't, I can't say the, the specific, specific number, yeah. but I'll tell you, oh, it usually ranges Sorry. anywhere from 300 to 500 at the shelter. Jeez. And then, oh my gosh. and here's the part though, we have the one of the largest, yeah. if not the largest foster network for yeah. a shelter. So we have over a thousand 
in, 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 in foster, foster homes. homes. That includes cats and dogs. Oh my gosh. But it's still one of the more remarkable stats. And you know, that is how we're able to do so much life saving because it's not just, you know, what we do at the shelter. Yeah. It's what Austin is doing. Austin, I've only been here for a year. Yeah. And I, I honestly feel like it's one of the greatest dog cities in yeah, America that I've been true. around. People love their dogs. So uh, if you're a dog lover and thinking about where to move, come to Austin. Space, look out. Um, that's impressive. Okay, also, I tweeted, your guys' raise a day thing is coming up the 20th, yeah. right? So it's, it's not today, but they're doing a raise a day campaign where they're raising a day's worth of operating, which is like so much money. Exactly. It's like 50K or 60K 50, or something. $53,000. $53,000 a day. Exactly. You guys, <laughs> to run this facility, because they have a bunch of employees and they have a bunch of animals and they have this parvo unit. And you have something with cats too, right? Like a, yeah, do you want um, to a we'll, we'll go in there in a moment. Okay. Um, so just on raise a day though, I want to let make sure everyone knows that if you follow our Instagram and our Facebook, yeah. we're going to be doing, going live that whole day on June 20th oh, that's to sick. show the programs in depth. Mods, um, can you link that in the chat? That would be great. So you can go follow their Instagram, and they have a Twitter, too. I, I tagged their Twitter this morning. You can go check them out there. They got it all. Cool. And, yeah, you touched it right on there. It does take about 53000 just to keep this place that running on a crazy. daily basis. But you mentioned cats. Yes. And, you know, as much as we love our dogs, we also love our feline friends. Yes. So let me show you the Felvi room and explain what that is. Oh, cool. Um, crowned, ah, crowned eye tipped. Eleven $1 hundred dollars to this fine, just like really casually, just a small. So this tip. is. Uh, it'll be interesting. We we need to make sure that this door closes before okay. opening this one. Yeah. So only You're... three of us will probably fit at once, and That's then. That's fine. Then... Chat. We're used to vestibules. We love vestibules. <laughs> um. Crowned eye. Thank you so much for the thousand dollar donation. That is insane. Poker, thank you for the donation. Roll Rogelio, perfect. Thank you for the 25. Oh my gosh, this is cute. So as you can tell, it just went from loud, oh, dogs barking everywhere. Cats are so quiet. To the, this is, it's incredible. This is a staff favorite place to come and relax and yeah. play with the cats. And uh, But so this is our Felvi room. Felvi is feline leukemia. Uh -huh. And I know what you're thinking. You hear leukemia, you're thinking cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Which is very fair, but it's actually not. It's a type of hey. virus um, where... It's a type of virus where it's basically like when a human is immunocompromised. That's what these cats are. They're immunocompromised. Yeah. So they're not currently sick. They just are more susceptible to getting sick. Mm -hmm. uh, but they can live, you know, anywhere. They can live up to like 11 years and uh, or even more. And, and so they are still great companions. And in a lot yeah. of shelters, oh you know, there just isn't the education or the resources yeah. uh, to have a Felvi program. But it's really not that hard because... People love cats, and they're going to love them no matter what. Right. And the only real rule with these cats is that it is, uh, over time, it is uh, transmissible to other cats. Sure. So you're going to only want one feline leukemia, or sorry, only want feline leukemia cats in your home or no cats right, to have right, right, right. I see. Okay. Um, X Leaf, thank you for the $30. I love this guy. This is a really cute <laughs> cat. Do you know who this is? So that's the thing with this. This, is, this room's a little trickier. We have their names up here, and you kind of have to mix and match because uh, we, we do like to let them just kind of roam loose and, and hang out with each other. Disco Inferno, perhaps? <laughs> that Black cat? That is probably, yep, oh Disco my Inferno. Oh, gosh. Chat, this is Disco Inferno. <laughs> the names here, by the way, guys, outrageous. I... <laughs> that I looked on y'all's website at some of those cat names. They're so funny. There are so many funny names here. That's probably, yeah, that's like, you know, one of just the perks of being able to save the lives of these animals is we get to name them. And, then, <laughs> get to give them and when you names. adopt, you get to either keep the name or make your own. Disco um, Inferno. We actually had um, a litter of cats not too long ago in this room that yeah. were named after Studio Ghibli uh, Cute. names, which nice. was, that was Love my favorite. It. Love it. This little guy speaking here and Over really cute if you want to look at that. That's why there's like a there's a cat in the cattery. We'll go in there later. It's named Rite Aid. It's like you guys <laughs> just run out of names. <laughs> too many. Too I many mean, animals. after after a while and all all these cats that we're saving, you know, we do run out of names and just have to think of outside the box, unconventional. Yeah, Gogurt is one I saw on the website too. Yeah, they're pretty good. Disco Inferno, everybody. Shenanigans, Shenanigans. is one, apparently, that's in here. Colopsia, thank you for the $15. What is the dono bar at now? I don't have that number. Chat, you have it. What is it? 
People have been donating like crazy while we've been walking around. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you so much. $2,200 wow. in the first... And guys, your money, it, your donations <laughs> is going straight to enriching these cats' lives, Cut. helping us find homes. So we truly, truly appreciate it. That is so sick. And to get a little bit more into the details of what that like fifty-three thousand dollars for a day looks like. You want to? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Just hold that. That's fine. Um, there's a lot of different stuff. Obviously, staff and food and all that good stuff for our animals. But then the other thing that we do here um, is the clinic, which Juan touched on a little bit earlier. Um, we do a lot of life-saving surgeries for animals that most other shelters wouldn't be able to complete. Yeah. Um, and so that's the awesome part about the shelter and the awesome part about what y'all are doing by giving back here is we're really helping to save lives of animals that might not get that opportunity a lot of the time. So thank you all a ton. That's I see awesome. we're, at, we're capturing some nap times too. Oh so. yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's cinematic. Amazing. Chet's gonna cry. Zomberinos, thank you for the $25 donation. You were also talking this morning about shelters in Austin being full right now, and I was telling you about that dog. Um, guys, remember that dog that I found in San Antonio, the like one with the little legs? Thank you for the $50, Jato. I'm Tem, Zenben, $25, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I found a dog in San Antonio, and I called a bunch of shelters. Um, over there and in Austin, because I was coming back here, and they were all like, we're full, we can't take the dog. And I called Animal Control, and they were just like, yeah, just let them out, and we'll sweep the area tomorrow and see if we can pick them up. It took me like an hour to catch it, and I was like, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, the shelters are full, that's a huge, just, yeah. that's crazy, there's just so many. Most of the muni shelters that Juan had brought up earlier are over capacity at this point, yeah. and potentially like putting animals in RVs that they rent out, mm -hmm. um, random places that you wouldn't necessarily expect a shelter to be housing animals at at this point. So right. it really has come to a point where things are getting pretty desperate, um, and a lot of these shelters are looking for a ton of help, which is kind of why we're here. So it is, uh, it's definitely a little bit stressful, but it's also awesome to see all the good stuff that we've been able to do over the last, I mean, I've only been here a couple months, but it's been really cool. So. Yeah. Um, a Bay Bayless 25 and Inet 25. Thank you so much. Cool. Is this your guys' first time on Twitch too? On Twitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, like, as, as a on on the streaming end, because yeah. I've seen a lot of streams. Here. Okay, cool. Good. Um, Yo, it's Kendall. Thank you for the 20. And Nomish, thank you for the five dollars. Um, sweet. All right, how do we donate just on their website? So we're hooked up to a fundraiser right now through Twitch um, with Austin Pets Alive. So your donation to the stream goes directly to them. That's how that's working today. Kendall, thank you for the $20. Okay, cool. Perfect, awesome. yeah, so like I said though, for any of you who now have learned about Felvy and know it's not you know, as serious as the name implies, we do uh, suggest that if you don't have a cat yet and are looking to adopt, please do consider Felvy ones. Um, like I said, they can live great lives. They are looking for those loving homes and, looks pretty and good to me. people, exactly, and people <laughs> to enrich their lives. So, uh, you know, go out and see, you know, more and more shelters are starting to uh, build their own Felvi programs. Uh, that's another thing I can touch on real quick. We're not just a shelter. We're an organization that uh, we're trying to spread these programs and knowledge to other shelters across the whole country. Mm -hmm. So we have what's called HAS, which is Human Animal Support Services. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one of our legs here. And we help other shelters start implementing their own Felby program. So, you know, Google it. Maybe there, there might be a Felby yeah. program around you that where you can come and adopt cool. one of these guys. Tiger, thank you for the 50. Alexis with 15, thank you. Flum, thank you for the dollar. Very cool, very cool. All right. All right, so we're going to take oh, yeah. you to Puppy Row. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Chad, we're going to Puppy Row. It's going to be louder, though. Everyone brace themselves. Get ready for the Borks, everybody. You want to? Yeah, we'll close. The okay, yeah, you guys go Sorry. first, and then we'll go. By the way, if you... Um... Thank you for... Swooter, thank you for the $25 tortilla with $100. You guys are crazy. This is so fun. This is my dream, you guys. This is sick. I love my life. <laughs> 
Adopt Disco and Burnout, dude. If I'm telling you guys, if this stream results in some of these animals getting adopted, I will lose my freaking mind. All right, set. Puppies. Yeah. Perfect. Yep, we're going to puppy row. Okay, here we go. Good. By the way, my uh, I didn't ask you. I mean, I know you you have your sanctuary. Do you? Do you have any dogs and cats of your I own? I do. I have two dogs. I got a Weimaraner and a Pit Chihuahua mix. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and then I have ferrets and I have goats and a horse. What, uh, Those what, are my pets. What are what are what is having a ferret like? Are they are they super playful? They are. They're stinky. I um, always think they, of a, a long tail collie. Everything. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> Hello, puppy. All right. So these two, I just can't with them. Everyone has to see them. This is where Puppy Row starts. We've got oh my hurricane gosh. and tornado. Look at them. They're just, they're yes, you guys. Pyrenees, low Pyrenees mixes. I also have Duncan and the chickens. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. You're really good at this. You're really good at like, the talking. It's great. And then, um, you were talking about the names earlier. These, I can't even, I don't even know what they are. Varian, Rin. <laughs> wow. Magni, does anyone know where the, what this is from? Oh, okay. What is it? Is it really? Guys, wow. Hide Tinker. How do you say? <laughs> Space That's knows. awesome. You they know what? Will. Honestly, I'm glad we're doing this because you might, your, you and your <laughs> audience might help me figure out what some of these names are. From. I don't know them. So these are probably oh siblings from the ones we saw at the very front. Um, Air and Fire. I got to spend some time with uh, who I think is Air the other day, and he's Look at really this sweet. Hair. <laughs> it's so cute. That's a. This is a beautiful dog. My gosh. Yeah, and like just to uh, you know, kind of circle back on uh, the whole Parvo puppy ICU. So yeah. all of our puppies either come from. Um, you know, they were either born in our care because we took in a pregnant mom, yeah. or they came through our Parvo Puppy ICU. Um, so Austin's Muni Shelter is Austin Animal Center, and we basically have an agreement with them where we'll, we'll take in their um, a lot of their medical needs dogs, and we'll yeah. take in a lot of their pregnant moms, both cats and dogs. So, um, you know, we have, a, we'll, we'll go and meet a pregnant, or a mom with her litter That's later, right. uh, but, a lot of these puppies, like I said, came were either born in the shelter or come from the program. Yeah. And guys, last year in, in 2022 alone, we it's saved so over 1,200 puppies from Parvo. 1,200 puppies last year? Yeah, alone oh from Parvo. Oh my gosh. That's some, what is, so what does that entail? What does that look like? Can you tell them more about what Parvo is? Yeah, so Parvo is a virus that uh, dogs can or puppies can come across. Usually, I mean, a dog can get it, yeah. but it's more likely with a puppy because um, you know they don't have their shots yet, uh, they're, so they're more susceptible. Which is why Austin Pets Alive does recommend that you follow your vet suggested vaccination uh, schedule. Yeah. So basically, what it is, it's a it's a stomach virus, so they get. Um, you know, all the all the symptoms of a stomach virus, they get dehydrated really easily. And if it's not treated, here, let's move up here. Cause <laughs> if it's not treated, um, it's unfortunately usually fatal, yeah. which is why we're very um, happy that we're able to have this Parvo ICU. Um, usually treatment just looks like, you know, monitoring them, making sure they're hydrated. Yeah. Um, and the clinic does all sorts of other things, gives them medication, make sure that they... Um, you know, we'll actually get more into detail when we go through the clinic. Yeah. Uh, just because I don't want to 100% say everything. Oh, totally. Uh, but that's fine. But yeah, so with uh, with our ICU last year, like I said, we saved over 1,200 puppies. That's amazing. Which means we saved 91%. Yeah, 91% of the puppies that came to us with Parvo. Wow. Um, so, which is really exciting, oh. just because if left untreated, it's it's you know very very fatal. Yeah. Um, Tano with 15, thank you. Spiced Flapjacks with 25. Um, Kynat with $9. Honey, Genji, Yukio, Tortilla, Swooter, lots of donos. Thank you guys so much. Um, no, not 9%, 91% is what he said. <laughs> it's a very different number, I guess. Oh, he's cute. Happy 
wiggly puppy. Polly Papaya. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Their eyes? They're gorgeous. He's a wiggly guy. So look at these guys. Polly Papaya and Kiwi Kelly next door. <laughs> Neighbors. Look at those eyes. They're so pretty. You guys. You're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Hi, little. This one's name is Bob. <laughs> oh, Bob. Another thing I love is when we give them very human names. Yeah. Like Lilith. Lilith and Bob. <laughs> Lilith. She's pretty too. She's really cute. And then for those of you who have been to Austin before, we named them after some of the parks in the area. Oh, Zoker cool. Park. Oh, cute. And um, what was I going to say? Georgie with five. James with five. Thank you, guys. Toking, thank you for the donation. So I'd actually, I don't know if, you know, we can uh, get this answer, but I'd love to hear from your audience, like, how many of them have been to Austin and how many of them have heard of Austin Pets Alive? Chat. You'll hear that. It's not like a little bit of a no, noise, so they'll answer you in a um, And yeah, so we've got more park names here. Not me, not me. I have never. <laughs> a lot of them are saying that they live here, but they're lying, oh, okay. probably. <laughs> Um, I've never been to Texas. I'm from Scotland. There are a lot of EU folks here. That is awesome. Uh, this is new to me. What time is it over there? I don't know. <laughs> Dang. They, these are dedicated people. I love it. Thanks They're for tuning in. Dedicated. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're probably going to make our way actually down back okay. here, and I'm going to take you into the clinic, and that's where a lot of the life saving happens. Cool. It's 7 p.m., it's 6 p.m., oh, 6 wow. p.m., <laughs> it's 7 p.m. 1841, no one chattered, no one knows what that means. Sometimes my head makes me think that it's like, that the time differences are so, so big, but they're really not sometimes, <laughs> right? Actually, you know, I do wanna, I do wanna take them back here and show okay. them something really cool. Ooh, guys, we're going behind the scenes. Oh. So, you know, we've talked a lot about the medical cases. We've yeah. talked a lot about, um, you know, Felvi, Parvo, but another big component of Austin Pets Alive is mm -hmm. our beha dog behavior program. Okay. Because we believe that, you know, if we work with dogs in the shelter yeah. to make sure that they're better companions at home, right. then they're going to have better success. They're yeah, totally. Have, uh, you know, a really happy ending mm -hmm. being with their families and all yeah. that. So one of the programs we started here, thanks to a really generous donor who helped build these, oh is gosh. the tiny homes. And so oh, tiny we know homes, about these. basically when a dog is very overwhelmed in the shelter mm -hmm. and, uh, you, know, you know, there is a lot going on. So yeah. there are some dogs who just need that privacy. And so our behavior team works with them and they move them over to a tiny home. So it's basically giving them the simulated oh gosh, experience so of, Look what, at the, show them the sign. of what living in a tiny home is. Or I mean, in a home is in these tiny homes. They have, you know, their, their own little house and then they even have a backyard. Oh my um, god, no they don't. That these are so dogs cute. that require, you know, we do have to have the behavior team with us to go in, so unfortunately I can't go in. Yeah. But just wanted to show you from the outside. Oh my here. gosh, they do have little backyards. Amazing. That is so cute. And it just goes to show you how much Austin Pets Alive values finding the you know helping them find that home and yeah. not just you know just trying to get them adopted we really find a try to find that home where they're going to be a family member and fit right in yeah. so sasha's shelton's tiny or shelton sorry shelton's, yeah. mansion for himself. shelton's mansion <laughs> go home thank you for the ten dollars jps thank you for the two dollars snack with the five dollars man you guys really have a lot of sectors here like a lot exactly. of operations at the same and time I'm, and then i'm going to go show you what we call our airstream okay. which is a great place um we like to go and uh kind of relax with the dogs oh my god that is so cute this is a great photo op place too for them <laughs> interview place things like that <laughs> um the crazy thing about this is this is where austin is, this is where Austin Pets Alive actually started. Was no, in really? A couple of these. Yeah. Guys, lore. 
So um, the person who actually started Austin Pets Alive, Dr. Jefferson, yeah. uh, she used to be taking care of parvo puppies, um, sick kitties, stuff like that in one of these bad boys. Oh my gosh, so actually, how cool. That's, that's all true, but she also did the parvo stuff in her own bathroom. Oh my gosh. So that, I should have, that should have been the first wow. thing. There's just, we, there's so much to get to, but that is one of my absolute favorite things. She literally was rescuing in her bathtub. Oh my gosh. Which is amazing. Jana, thank you for the hundred dollars. Tana with, the, with $10, Perry, $5. Thank you guys for the donos. That's awesome. So you guys do use this as like a socialization area then? Or you like um, take dogs out to play in here? Yeah, I mean, I, w I, I don't know if I'd say like, I, I think the biggest so socialization areas are those play the yards there, and, yeah. and helping them. but. This is more so where uh, volunteers can come and just relax with yeah. the dog. Cool. Um, like I said, we, we bring them in there. It's really hot right now where I take you in, but yeah, no, it's uh, cool. we Good. take them in there to get amazing photo ops so that their, their uh, profiles online are up, up to date with cute oh, pictures. It's like a and studio. It's studio. Yeah, it's basically so like cool. a live set, if you will, or a, what, what, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, but definitely there, there can be some social, socialization because you know, a volunteer hanging out with a dog is socialization. Right, for so sure. You're totally right. And then we even have, uh, I don't know if we want to just look at this real quick. We have like a little agility yard. Um, oh my God. And, and we have several of these around the shelter where we have little obstacles that we set up. <laughs> choo choo. Where's Hank? And as you can. <laughs> they can oh, hear you. still hear me, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's, there's, we even have some kiddie pools. Uh, this one is not the best example right now, but we set up a bunch of kiddie pools yeah. in the summer heat here I've in Austin them, yeah. and have them uh, go in the water in a safe and fun Vanilla, way. thank you for the two hundred dollar donation. Sorry, I'll just like no, that's incredible. No, I, you. <laughs> no, please interrupt me <laughs> if it's for for that okay. or anything the audience wants to know. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to be offended. Okay. <laughs> Um, look at these, you can see the backyards now of the tiny house. Oh, yeah. That that's... is so cute. That's so special. I've never seen a shelter do anything like that. Akuma, thank you for the five. Oh, we hit 3K. Thank you so much, you guys. We haven't even, like, we've met one cat. <laughs> like, you guys, chill out. <laughs> well, we're going to be meeting lots of, for everyone who's wondering, we will be meeting individual pets. Yes, yeah. Throughout this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That's awesome. <laughs> Maya's going to run the agility. Who said that? <laughs> Nobody said that. No, Maya's not. It's not what we're here for. Disco Inferno. <laughs> we love Disco Inferno. I'm a huge fan. Always have been. Is that a reference to something? It's the cat. Oh, <laughs> that okay. black cat in there. No, I mean, like, but is, is the name a reference to anything? I don't think so. I don't know. Is it? Because I know there's a, a video game called Dante's Inferno, so I was like, oh, maybe. Maybe. Chat. <laughs> thank you. Clyphe, thank you for the five. Oh, it's a song. Hey, sir. They said it's a song. Oh, okay. Hi, sir. Dog party time? Uh, Dog party we'll, time? We'll, we'll just, like, peek in really quick in the clinic. Just Cool, yeah. And then, and then we'll, oh, I just thought this might be my favorite name. Weenie Hut SpongeBob Jr. SpongeBob fans, Weenie Hut Jr. Hi, Weenie Hut Jr. Weenie Hut Jr. Which, for everyone watching, who's a Weenie Hut Jr.? I know I'm a proud one. <laughs> oh, so cute. What a sweet dog. Four month old. Just a baby. So we'll we'll peek in and see if we can um, show you something. Sometimes, you know, there is a lot of life saving going on, so it'll be busy and we won't be able to show everything in depth. But okay. Yeah, just... as long as we're not in the way. Thank you so much. Hey guys, we're, we're just doing a, a Twitch live stream. Just ignore us. <laughs> and we're not going to go in there. I just, I just wanted to say this is the Austin Pets Alive Clinic where cool. a lot of life saving happens. Our Parvo ICU that we've mentioned a lot is down these uh, halls over there. So this is where the life saving happens. Sweet. Um, you know, they're, they're busy doing some life saving. So I just wanted to show it, but we can uh, talk more about it outside. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hello. <laughs> 
Shippy, thank you for the 15. Franken with the 5. Waffle with 50. Fenlian with 15. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I think it is uh, dog playgroup time or dog, dog, play time. dog yard time. Awesome. Let's do it. So right. I'm going to leave this with uh, Perfect if you hear, and then go and grab some dogs for us. Perfect. All right. Where do you want us to set up? Over on the other side? Or yeah, what's best for you? Uh, let's do, yeah, let's go see which one's open here. here. Okay. Perfect. Did he mention how many? Juan, do you know how many adoptions you guys do a year? Adoptions, uh, so. A lot. <laughs> that, I, I can't say that number for sure. Yeah. What I do know is we have a statistic, which is how many animals we save a year. Yeah. And last year, oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and so last year, uh, we saved nearly 12,000 animals. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, and I can I can actually find that out for us like adoption wise, so uh, we can share that later. Okay, thanks. So let's do. You, you see the one that's open over there? King's car. Like, thank you for the hundred dollars. Yeah, just like yeah. Let's yeah. go in that one. Okay, cool. Sounds good. All we'll see you back there. Bring us thank some you. friends. I think I left it. I'm gonna grab the leash. Okay, cool. No worries. We got a sec. He's awesome. Yeah, he he's knows. He's so good at talking. So Kwan has uh, been here a long time, and yeah. he's got all the stats and stuff. So yeah, he makes my great. job easy. <laughs> so if you look to your left right here, that's kind of like behavior training, cool. taking him out, having him do his own little play session okay. over there. Um, but some of the dogs we will put in like their own kennels um, or play areas, just because they have to be brought back into society a little bit differently than some dogs um, and trained a little bit more than some. So that's kind of that one-on-one -on -one training. And then a lot of the time we'll have them back in these areas and we'll do like full puppy play with five or six of them, depending on kind of how, how safe they are. So if you yeah. look to the left, oh, cool. there's a bunch of guys how hanging fun. out right now. Look, they have misters. They're so cute. Um, thank you for the 15. Someone asked if we donate here on the website. Your donations to the stream will go directly to them because we're hooked up uh, on a fundraiser today. Um, all right, cool. So we're in this one. Awesome, yeah. Okay. We're going to get set up in here. I think Juan's supposed to be bringing us three or four friends real quick. Yeah, we're, we good, to, we're good to chill here for a bit. Awesome. Um, his pizza, thank you for the $25. Um, use the donate to charity button in the bottom right of the stream. Thank you. Um, if you guys want to spam the links to their socials too, that would be great. Uh, they have Instagram, they have Twitter. Um, they do the whole thing. They're all very good. Catac, thank you for the $15. This place looks awesome. Yeah, it's sick. It's huge. They have a lot going on here. Um, where is it? It's Austin, Texas. <laughs> Austin Pets Alive. We're at Austin Pets Alive today. Um, literally, actually, look at that. We're like in the city. Check that out. Here we are, folks. Downtown, downtown. We're city folks now. <laughs> Chlorbid, thank you for the $50. Sugar, thank you for the $15. Thank you. So I just got here. How late am I? Um, you're not late at all. We like pretty much just started. All this space, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 50. The fundraising has been crazy. Um, if we're on mobile, where is it? I, that, I don't know. Um, maybe my mods can help you find that. Um, let's go, dogs. So the plan right now, guys, is we're going to sit in here. Juan's going to bring us dogs. Are we just going to like hang out with the dogs? I don't know. I guess that's it. Um, Soul Boot, thank you for the $25. Um, so it's not delayed much at all. So we're just gonna hang out with some dogs in here, learn about their stories, learn about the dogs themselves, where they came from, and just chill out, you know? Um, can you adopt if you live out of state or is it just for Texans? So we try to stay in state for most of our adoptions. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we will make ex exceptions, of course. The first goal is to find a good home. So. Yeah. Um, if someone's willing to fly down here, get a puppy, and then potentially drive back, yeah. absolutely. The cool. issue is a lot of the time with especially shelter dogs, um, taking them out of the shelter and then throwing them right on the plane can be for a sure. little bit traumatic. Yeah. So we try to avoid that if possible. Selfie, thank you for the 50. 
Baby, thank you for the 10. New Gator, Tree, thank you for the 50. Wow. Yeah, you can check out all their adoptable dogs and cats on their website. Thank you for the donos, guys. Um, oh, 3.5K. Thank you so much. I got my kitty from APA. Yay! Welcome back. Awesome. Here <laughs> <laughs> again. Um, Liadi, thank you for the 50. Ty, thank you for the 5. Uh, F105, thank you for the 5. This is awesome. We haven't even met a dog yet. I haven't done anything yet. If you, well, it's probably not best to put it on the tripod. You could right now if you're like tired of holding it. Corbin, thank you for the 50. Lego less with five. Thank you so much. That's like the third person that said they've adopted from here. Sick. That's awesome. You have a lot of followers from Dorgard, Austin, I'm guessing, you. since that's kind of where you're located. Or? I don't know. I don't think so. Seems like it. I feel if you like got most, three people most of them adopting. are U.S., but I don't know if they're all. Okay, cool. How many of them are Texan? Dorgard, thank you. Doregard, thank you for the 15. Plug the APA thrift store. I haven't heard about that. Yeah, so we have three of them. Three um, thrift stores. So all of those thrift stores are 100% um, based on either donations that we get from the shelter here or people will bring donations straight into the thrift. Yeah. Um, and then all sales will go either towards paying for more stuff at the thrift so that we can sell it or going straight back into the shelter um, to actually make profit for the shelter and send it straight back to the puppies and cats that need it. So, That's such a cool idea. Super cool. Um, I believe that um, that started probably around five-ish years ago um, and they've got three of them now yeah. and they're all really successful so if y'all are in the Austin area you want to help APA and you want some new clothes that's a great place to go check out cool there you go maybe we need to do an IRL we need to do an IRL shopping go shopping thrifting at the thrift store. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh a doggy <sighs> here comes the first movie King, star thank you for the 50 Danny with 50 Hi, <laughs> <laughs> he's a really happy face do you want to switch mics with him again so he can tell us about her? Do I want to what? Yeah, yeah, his... for sure. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Her. She's a Do her thing. You want to tell us a little bit about her, Juan? Yeah. If you got some stuff? Peach. I do. I, I had to pull it up. But I... Perfect. <laughs> she has one of those nice big pit smile faces. She's a really wide smile. Ooh, a tripod. That's so fun. <laughs> she got little legs like Maverick. These play pens are probably so fun. They probably smell like so many dogs. This is like oh, this is the best part of their day. big time yeah. enrichment, yeah. That's a pretty dog. She is a pretty dog. She's sniffing. Guys, her name is Petal, like the flower. P E T A L. I like that she has a bandana. I think it's nice. Enrichment is smelling dog pee. Yes, actually, Shatter. Dogs love smells. Dogs love smells of other dogs. It's like mail. So they have to read the peach mail or the poop mail. Little Boomstick, thank you for the $50 donation. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Yeah, so this is Petal. She's a, a six-year-old dog. And she's, ah. we, uh, we believe, a terrier pit bull mix. Um, let's see. Let me just... <laughs> so for every one of our animals here, um, we do have a database that kind of tells us what breed we think they are, uh, roughly how old they are, because obviously it's pretty yeah. tough a lot of the time. Um, and then a little backstory on them. A lot of the time we won't know exactly um, what happened to them before, but we will know. You're gonna need a mic, sorry. sorry. <laughs> we will know if they came in with an injury, something like that, um, and then we'll know kind of a rough history of it in terms of if we got it from another shelter. Um, but yeah, for the most part, 
uh, all these animals, we have a decent amount of information on them, a little bit of a backstory, and sometimes that's how we come up with the names for them as well. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah, and, I, and I, I apologize, I was looking things up earlier. That's There's okay. just so many, you know, well, dogs that I try of. to meet, and Petal is one I'm trying to meet today. But, uh, yeah, so actually, if you go on our website at austinpetsalive.org, there is a search bar where you can enter any of the names that we mentioned today. Um, this is Petal, I'll spell that out. It's P-E-T as in Tom, A-L. And so if you if you search her on uh, the search there, you'll find out everything that we have gone over today about her. And you can even put in an adoption inquiry. <laughs> uh, as you can see, she's done doing her business. Um, <laughs> Petal, um, you know, from everything that I've gathered, she's a very sweet girl, honestly, has done great around kids of all ages. And uh, she's just one of those dogs that's looking for um, a home where she can continue to grow into the amazing dog she, she's becoming. Um, and, you know, she does take a little bit more of a slow introduction around other dogs from what, I'm, from what I've seen, but she can be introduced to them. It just takes a little more time. But Janet, thank you for the 50 Other than that, donation. though, she's the perfect family dog and would love to join any type of family. She's very Petal, cute. Petal. Let's see if so many here. That's my uh, that's my come here voice. <laughs> she is very distracted right now. There's a lot of smells. Maybe. I would also be distracted. Oh, nope, nope. That is that is for swimming pedal, not for <laughs> drinking. <laughs> and so most dogs, you know, I am going to probably you know just show them for about ten minutes because it is very hot out here. Yeah, totally. I don't know if, if the camera can tell, but I'm already sweating. We're all sweating. And it's days like today that really, <laughs> really remind me how incredible all of our staff is that is working out here in the Austin heat. Guys, we're we're nearly in the hundreds, I believe. Like, yeah. this is hot. It's and like so, tomorrow it starts over 100 every day. Exactly. And so to have our staff be out here making sure the dogs are enriched, making <laughs> sure they're, they're staying cool. What our staff and volunteers do daily is just phenomenal. So thank yeah. you so much for um, every donation you've made today is going to help Hi. our staff and volunteers out, and we people really are, appreciate it. Um, people are asking about the square on her shoulder. Do you know what that's from? The the square right, right just there? Just like this. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. What I will say is, you know, a lot of our dogs do come from different backgrounds, different stories. You know, they might have... Um, like earlier this year, we had a period where unfortunately we got three different dogs in one week that were hit by a car. I'm not saying that's what happened to Petal, yeah. but you just never know what happens. So um, even though we don't know what's happened, what we do know is we, we're trying to you know, make sure from here on out she is safe yeah. and comfortable and enjoying her life. Chet, she's itchy and I have <laughs> fake nails. <laughs> she likes them. <laughs> So cute. She kind of, uh, I'll say she reminds me a little bit. I say this a, a lot about our dogs, but she reminds me of Toothless a little bit. From, yeah, she uh, does. From uh, How to Train Your Dragon. So. It's very cute. Scritches in 4K, everybody. Check it out. So, yeah, these yards are great because our staff and volunteers will bring the dogs out, and then we can, like I showed you earlier, we put on this... Uh, this leash here that makes sure that if they do escape we can help catch yeah. them safely uh but we do let them loose in these yards and just you know do their business uh, oh we hit or, 4k thank you sorry uh, i thought you were saying just that run around and, and and have a little bit of fun uh to you know just then they can go back to their their kennel and, and take a nice nap right after <laughs> Knady, thank you for the 137 dollar donation you hit four thousand dollars in donations. Thank you all so much. Yeah, it's amazing. Incredible. <laughs> that is actually incredible. That is crazy. Thank you so much. I thought it was an 8K camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this camera is an 8K. Everybody, that's why the quality is so crazy. Pretty good. Pretty good. How long have you been working here? I've been here since July of last year. Okay. Nice. So coming up on a year. Yeah. Scratches. Um, have we gotten any any other questions while I was grabbing the dogs or anything? Can you please ask them how many cats and dogs they have? There's some people that'll be like coming in. And oh, the totally. No, yes. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that exact number is something I can find out for us before the end of the stream. I don't know it off the top of my head. What I will say, usually we have around 300 something cats and dogs at the shelter at any moment. Um, and then the great thing about APA is we've been able to build a long, a vast network of uh, fosters so that um, 
You know, because our, our main goal is actually to become a foster-centric model type of shelter because we believe, you know, that's where they're going to be more comfortable and, that, and uh, it's going to help them also just prepare for when they do get adopted. So we have about over, we have over a thousand cats and dogs in shelter homes right now, which is insane. That is insane. Um, yeah. And, and so, yeah, like I, like I was saying earlier, for those who are new to the stream, Austin is such a pet-friendly city that it's wild whenever we have you know a special adoption promo or we have or we really have a need because if, whether it's heat related or um you know austin isn't super cold but it does have a couple weekends a year where it reaches uh, the teens or even less so when we have those moments the community comes in in droves and brings these dogs to their homes and, and it's a really caring community which is awesome nice Rarika, thank you for the 15. Harley, thank you for the dono. So I am going to go and bring Petal back to her kennel. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm going to try to bring us a dog who is going to be uh, pretty active. Okay. That'll be a fun little, you know, she's a really relaxed one, but uh, just to show you the range of dogs. Okay, great. <laughs> Sounds good. Everybody say bye to Petal. Oh, she's. I think she's uh, fallen in love with all of you and doesn't want to leave. Chat. We'll <laughs> she said goodbye. I heard it. She's saying bye. Just a little more smells. Bye, Pedal. What a nice little dog. And so I think, Maya, earlier I was telling you about how um, in our cattery we have a bunch of cats that yes. don't necessarily have working back legs, yes. and so a oh, lot of shelters yeah. won't take them in. Right over there, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get a shot of that, but we actually have one of our puppies in his wheelchair oh, yeah. or her wheelchair as well. Um, Can the, he go up to the fence? Is yeah, okay? of course. I think probably just keep a little bit of distance, but that's absolutely okay to get up there. But yeah, so most shelters, when something like this happens, um, it is pretty difficult for them to care for these animals, but oh, that's yeah, what's awesome about APA is she still gets to run, out, run around outside and play with the rest of the dogs, which is cool. super awesome. So. But yeah, that is one of our behavior groups right there, as I brought up earlier. So getting all those puppies trained to hopefully go home. Nice. There's so many in there. It's so fun. <laughs> That's so fun. Do you guys, is the closest restroom the one that was inside? Uh, most likely, yes. Okay, it's fine then. You need to run real no. quick? Then? Okay. No, I will not abandon the stream. I'm just going to hold it. Uh, oh, guys, yeah. if we want to back up a little bit, yeah. Just hop back in here real quick. Frankie, thank you for the five dollar donation. He has a wheelchair. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Out there. He looks he does look pretty happy. He's like a happy guy. The little legs. Um they have a one-eyed cat named yours truly. Yeah, so we're gonna hang out in here, meet a few dogs outside, and then go into the cats. Yep. Into the cattery, then we'll hang out with some cats. And then Meet puppies, puppy puppies, the little ones. Just born puppies. Boston, thank you for the five dollars. Harley, thank you for the dollar. Yeah, the puppies are really cute. It's the picture that I tweeted. You guys are gonna love them. It's ridiculous. I think they were born like less than a month ago. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. The babies. Cat room pug. It's called the cattery, actually. <laughs> we're heading in there after this. Does Maya even like cats? I do like cats. Actually, I like cats a lot. What makes you think I don't like cats? Are you a cat or a dog person? I'm a dog guy. I don't know that I'm supposed to say that on stream, <laughs> but I'll be honest. He I do like cats, cats still. Too. Yeah. I still like cats. Um, my family had one cat and two dogs, so. AMZs, thank you for the five weeks. I shouldn't have asked that question. Um, makeshift wings, thank you for the $15. I didn't answer for my questions, are adoptions often? I think it probably depends. You can try to answer that if you want. I would say it definitely depends on kind of time of the year and which animals that we have in. But yes, I would say at least a couple of adoptions occur every day. Um, every day? For the most part, yeah. Oh, I mean, we, might, we may have a slow day every once in a while, but as Juan brought up earlier, we have over 300 animals here. Yeah. Um, so. And this is one of the larger shelters in Austin, so we do see a decent amount of foot traffic. Yeah. Um, also, the other thing that's awesome is most of our fosters are pretty prevalent on social media and stuff and actually creating, like, pages for the animals they foster yeah. to help them get adopted. Yeah, so a lot cool. of them will get adopted without even being in our shelter, cool. which is amazing. 
Um, Mabe, Mabe, Steve, thank you for the five dollars. Um, are all the animals we have seen so far today ready for adoption? Uh, Ninety percent of them, I would say. So there's a few. Um, Monkaroo, we just showed you. you over in the behavior area how we're yeah. doing some training. Uh -huh. There will be a few that may not um, be quite ready to um, be adopted, but we're still working on them Stay to time, make sure that their behaviors yeah. up to standard. Um, but all of these dogs at some point in time will be available for adoption. Yes. Cool. Got it. Also, someone asked um, what Jeff does here. Jeff is the influencer relations officer. I told him when we first talked, I was like, I have never heard of that as a title, but that's so cool. It is not a common title. It's super cool that Austin Pets Alive has kind of started this. My background was working with influencers for a tech company, um, and I just loved animals. So it worked out perfectly. And uh, it's super, super cool that we're doing this type of fundraising now because it's a lot more personable. Y'all get to actually meet the animals, do stuff like that, um, and get to see really what goes on behind the scenes here, which I think is super cool. So it's really exciting. Yeah, it's very smart. It's a cool move. Um, Bolsky, thank you for the $25. I'm influenced. Huge. That's big. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, I'm going to try to talk to some streamers. I was yeah, telling you before, be... I was getting more streamers out here to do a stream like this. I think they'd have a lot of fun. I think it'd be fun for you guys to see more more streamers out here hanging out with some animals. Yeah, we can make it a whole party. Yeah. So how far is your facility from here? How um, deep are y'all out there? It's a ways. a ways. I'll tell you okay. offline. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It took us a while to get here this morning. Yeah, cool. Peach Stars would lose her mind here. She would. <laughs> she would. Um, she would be amazing. I think a lot of the folks that we were talking about Tiny Mike. Ah, oh, I have to film a Tiny Mike. I forgot to film with uh, with Petal. We can go find her after this. It's okay. okay. I have it, you guys. I'm also recording a Tiny Mike video out here today. Um, so I need to ask the dogs some questions when they come in here. If you guys have any questions to ask the dogs, please. Um, we'll make sure Petal gets her 15 seconds them. of fame for sure. Oh my god, it's the Tiny Mike, you guys. This is the one. It's dumb. I had to buy this little adapter because it only comes with a headphone jack. So I got an iPhone adapter. But it works just fine. It's great. What do they think about the hot Texas weather? I could probably answer that for everybody. It sucks. <laughs> it's hot. At least last year, I feel like it started beginning of June, if not earlier than that. This year, at least we had like a whole spring. Oh my goodness gracious. So guys, we have a puppy. Two guests with us. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi. It's Bolock and Missy. Bolock. Bolock. Wait, you said two what? Two guests. Two, two guests. Okay. I was like, what did you call oh, us? Hello. Thank you for the hundred dollar donation. So Missy is one of our great matchmakers. Um, so here at Austin Pets Alive, <laughs> we have people whose job it is to match people with the right dog whether it's for their lifestyle or they have a certain number of pets already or they have children mm -hmm. um, and she also facilitates a lot of the uh, dog and dog meets to see if you know someone's dog would get along with one of our dogs <laughs> or their children she can talk more about that so. yeah sure i mean you said you it pretty it. <laughs> okay i'm like i'm just gonna talk into it um you said it this is one. Um, <laughs> you said it pretty well yourself when people have like um, a job where they work from home we would love to pair them with a dog that has separation anxiety who you know the dog does not want them to leave home we have a lot of particular dogs that have lots of feelings and I shouldn't be allowing this uh -uh. <laughs> um, but yeah whenever people have like specific needs um, in their home like they need a dog that's gonna grow go great with kids young kids uh, maybe not a big giant dog that's gonna jump on them and maybe knock them over so we kind of sit them down learn about their home setup up, we give them some some tips and tricks and management skills about certain dogs' behaviors. Um, and then we kind of go from there. We hang out with them in the yard and all that fun stuff. Yeah. This little guy, he came from the Parvo Ward. He's a Parvo survivor. Oh, cool. And he, uh, he's on a distemper watch, so we're just going to make sure he doesn't have any distemper symptoms. But as you can see, he looks pretty healthy right now. Oh, my God. Um, but he's... Yeah, he's exactly, he's five months old. Um, yeah, like it's just a watch, we're just making sure. But so far, halfway through, he's, he's doing good. Um, he's very, very loving, loves af affection. Some why I picked him for this video. Definitely wants to follow Juan all around. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. 
I don't really know what to say, so can I hand this back oh, to you? Oh, you're good. I love how it's got like a little fluff at the top. That's fun. Well, here, let me ask you, um, do you have any any favorite story you'd like to share about how the match, is there any family you match that you feel like more proud of than others? Oh, absolutely. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's also like, it's a puppy story. So we had a lot of puppies that had like condiment names. So we had relish, ranch dressing, mayo. Hello, baby. You're not supposed to be jumping. Um... And yeah, family came in and they had, um, I mean, obviously it was a little easier. Puppies can really get along with anyone, but um, they fell in love with her. She was in here way too long. She was here way after her, her siblings, and they saw how attached I was to her. So they were like, if you give me your number, we can send you pictures. Aww. And they definitely did, and they definitely want me to house it for them while they go to Hawaii next oh week. Gosh. So I get to watch her in their the home, dream. which is really exciting. That's awesome. Um, but no, uh, Solar Flare went home last week. He was a really hyper dude, oh, wow. went home with a family. Family that could handle his over arousal yeah there's lots of lots of dogs here that could yeah. use um, people who you know if they just learn a little bit of the management skills easily take one of our long stays home and so our twitch audience has been donating the whole day what oh love that thanks twitch everyone twitch what, peeps <laughs> what does that mean to you and the, as the as a matchmaker and just someone that works at APA to get these donations. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Parvo is a huge part of what we do at APA because we have so many owner surrenders, a lot of dogs from other shelters that don't maybe have the resources that we do. Um, so a lot of our donations uh, do go to our clinic, which is huge. Example, stop jumping. You're making me look <laughs> like that. Um, <laughs> um, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to heal a dog from Parvo, which a, a lot of the time is why they are are surrendered because you know who can afford ten thousand dollars for um treatment that they didn't expect to have so right. we we heal them we treat them and then we put them here in the kennels um and then they hopefully find a home but donations also go to treats we definitely need this treat pouch um you know comes in handy when there's some doggies who need some redirection we've got some squirrels and birds on site that definitely distract them on walks sure. so treats definitely help um with those um, management skills um, but yeah, donations are always appreciated. There's lots of other places it goes that I probably didn't mention. But. No, for sure. Thank you so much, Missy. And yeah, this is a great opportunity to plug that on our Instagram, we have a link tree. And if you click on the link tree, there is a uh, Amazon wish list we have full of the treats and uh, the type of enrichment yeah, toys and activities that, that we um, typically use. So. Um, thank you again for all the donations you've made today. If you're looking for, you know, a donation that's, you know, tangible, like you'd rather just give us treats or things, there is a wish list, wish list and we appreciate that as well. Um, so uh, it is kind of hot, and, and Boomp has been out twice today, so I think I might let Missy bring Boomp back. Do we have a quick tiny mic question? Oh, or, chat, what you oh, yeah, got? Do you want to yeah, ask, 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 ask for something? Ask oh, oh, wait, what do I do? I ask Boomp something? Or okay. Hi. I, I have the full. Oh, I, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Oh yeah. Do you want oh, no, you're good. You can. Yeah, I'll give. I'll Chat. Give, I'll what do you think? Her. What's his or, favorite it's, it's, it's smell? Oh, okay. Wow. What a Go question. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> you're like confirmed. Yeah. Uh, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. What's his favorite smell? We got. What does he think about Mondays? We got. We got. These are like live questions right now. What's his. What's his opinion? You know, Mondays at the shelters the are actually quite fun, I'm I'll not say. Here, so. <laughs> Tuesdays are my Mondays. So, how do you feel about Tuesdays? What's it like being on stream? Do you live in a tiny house? I'll ask him what he thinks about Mondays. Manishi, hi, how are you? Thank you for the $200 donation. Wow. That We hit 5K, thank you so Woo! much. <laughs> that is crazy, wow. thank, thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much, guys. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Boop, right? Boop, yeah. Boop, Bo 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 It's like the sound of like, <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> that's what it is. This, this is the sound he makes when he runs around. Okay, let's see. Boop, what do you think about Mondays? <laughs> I look at you. I don't even want to say it. Thank you. I don't so much. know the, the tail wagging. Well, ask me another was question. Kind of oh, telling. He's ASMRing. Guys, we need another question. What you got? Eat the mic? Hi. No, we don't want him to eat the mic. Hi, baby. We're not asking him his social security number. He doesn't Can have you one. Use APA number so you're gonna duck? <laughs> ask him so who his best friend is here. What's his favorite smell? Okay, all right, all right. Boomp, what is your favorite smell? <laughs> the grand. 
Okay, thank you. One of those has to work. By, by the way, guys, it's actually social purity number, okay? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. What's your I'll favorite be here outside all week. Saved, activity? Oh, how long did it come over you? Uh, how long did it take you to come up with that one? Too long. How long did it take I me think. to actually say that sentence? Oh, um, what's your favorite activity? Pooping in my kennel. Nice, thank He's, you. Uh, what you'd call Brenda, that right? That's Brenda. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go. Reminds me of a uh, Robin Goodfellow, if you remember oh, yeah. that cutie who got adopted recently. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so cute. Like very, very kind. Very kind. <laughs> You're so cute and nice. You're so cute and nice. Alright, thank you so much for bringing him in here. He's so cute. Yeah, he is. You guys are also great on camera, thank you. You're making my life so easy. Let me replace this with that. And thanks so much, Mr. Yeah. your question from earlier. Yeah. Um, I have eyes in the sky telling me. Um, we had 10,500 adoptions last year. So if you do the math on that, roughly around like 35 a day-ish, I guess. Um, so a lot of adoptions. Um, was the number that I just got from above. So. <laughs> thank you. Axel, thank you for the $50 so, donation. Oh my gosh, that go, is so Jeff. many. I'm gonna go grab one last um, Do you okay, have cool. something? Do you want me to sanitize that mic because it went in his mouth or do you think it's fine with the other yes, dogs? That's good. Uh, so he doesn't have part of one. It should be good. Yeah. Well, I just mean like with the dogs in general. I don't know okay. if you're worried about that. I oh, guess okay. they all come in here, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I can see if just we have a, a wipe and bring it to Okay, it. yeah, whatever you want. Um, Thanks, Juan. How big is the shelter? Big. It's pretty big. They got a lot going on. That dog was cute. How many volunteers? Oh. Right Do you know how many? Do we? <laughs> oh my god, there he goes. Look at him. Oh my god, he's coming. <laughs> he's been intercepted. Chat, this is huge. Amazing. There's a tour at the beginning of the stream, yeah, if you want to see the facility. Just click back in the VOD. This is the movie star we were looking for. Oh, hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. There you go. So, guys, this is Mindy. She's one of the wheelie dogs here at Austin Pets Alive. So, as you've seen, we're very focused on, you know, the life saving, whether that's medical or behavioral. Um, and sometimes, you know, we do have dogs that you know, just had a unfortunate past and we try to save them with, uh, you know, wheels here. We call them our wheelie dogs. And Mindy, oh, it looks like she's a little shy, so we won't keep her here too long. Yeah. But um, do you do you know uh, kind of Mindy's backstory by chance? Okay, no worries about that. Um, but I guess what can you uh, tell us about how rewarding it is to be able to, you know, help these wheelie dogs? <laughs> can you hand them the mic? Like, <laughs> just knowing that they're good now and that they're being taken care of properly and they're off of the streets. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you so much. And Mindy was actually one of our Austin FC mascots. So the Austin FC is a uh, MLS team oh here in Austin. I just went to a game. And, you know, it's a great atmosphere. Yeah, right? it's so sick. And so what they do at every home game, instead of having an actual mascot, what they'll do is they pick one of our dogs to make the mascot of the match. So the dog goes, attends. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank the, you. the mascot, thank you. Uh, the mascot attends the game, uh, goes on the field, meets meets fans, and then is featured on the Jumbotron to hopefully mm -hmm. get them adopted. And Mindy was one of the featured pets this week. Cool. I can tell that she's, uh, you know, not wanting to be in here, yeah, and I don't want her to be. So uh, thank you so much for bringing her in <laughs> here for you. a second. And that, thank you. No problem, guys. Yeah, she had a long time to you. Exactly. <laughs> and for, it's and hot. yeah. He's and cute. thank you so much just for making sure she's enriched and has a good time here. So. Yeah, <laughs> How many volunteers do you guys have here, do you know? Um, like a bunch. A so yeah. you're, you're staff, correct? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. So um, just wanted to point that out. But so uh, probably what, like Bye, 50 Mindy. staff, I want to say? Yeah, that Around sounds about right. 50 staff, yeah. and then on any given day, we probably have around the same number of volunteers that come in and help out Jeez. over the course of the day. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, Austin, as Juan was saying earlier, Austin's totally a dog city, and like people really show it with yeah. the amount of times that they come out and help us, and cats too. But um, we really see a lot with like the dog walking especially. That's a huge volunteer opportunity that they help us out with a ton. Do her back legs not support her? I don't think that dog has use of her back legs. Am I, I mean, that's why she's in a wheelchair. 
I think that's And guys, the so case. we are approaching 100, so I think that's why the dogs just haven't been super active. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, we, we can move into can the, move, yeah. the cattery sure. potentially. Cool. Sounds good. Sorry. And um, and then we'll also have, we also have Celeste and her puppies. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, That'll yeah, cool. Celeste is a very active cute pup. Sweet. Yeah, I met her earlier. She's very <laughs> sweet. All right, guys, we're going to go. Um, do you want me to carry it? Do you want me to hold that? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go see some cats. Yeah, Kitties. Okay. You gotta get back to work one? Awesome. Cool. Ooh. We should be all good. Thank Sweating. you so much, man. Sweating. I need to peach. Meow. Cat time. It's much quieter in there. You guys won't hear the, yeah. the borking. It is much, much quieter in the cattery. <laughs> should go this way? Go this way. SD Gamers, thank you for the $20. Axial Mars, oh, I, that we already saw that one. Thank you for the $50. Guys, thank you for your donations today. Obviously, all your donations are going to Austin Pets Alive. It's a nonprofit animal shelter. They save a bunch of animals. You've been meeting them all day. Dogs, cats, Carvo puppies. After you Hello, guys. Hi. We're just doing a, a fundraising live stream. Okay. Um, Hello. So we'll try to stay out of y'all's way. No, 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 we're yeah. good. Would you care to tell us a little bit about the cattery for our wonderful guests here? Yeah, that's okay. Would you be able to do that? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> you want this? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You can just hold it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, so, got a bunch of cats in here. How many cats do you guys have? We you actually know. currently have 51 cats in here. In here? Oh my in gosh. In this one spot, yeah. Uh, this is just one of our catteries. Uh, we have three cat adoption centers on this campus mm -hmm. and another one five minutes away in Terrytown. Oh, so there's cool. 51 just in here. All right. We have another facility over in Terrytown too, right? Mm -hmm. Just here, for adoption guys. as well. Don't we have another cat facility yeah. over there? Yeah. yeah. Cool. That is a lot of cats. It's guys, a lot look. of cats. There's a little baby kittens. They're so cute. We just got these babies in. Who's Killer? <laughs> so this one's uh, Gray Tabby. Killer is this that one? one? No, there's six total. Oh, there's a bunch. these ones are, okay. Uh, I'm in the cattery right now. <laughs> Cute. They're sleepy. They are. They just had their breakfast, and now it's snoozy time. They're all three months old. Cool. Very cool. Um, can I go in a room? Yeah, with them? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hi, sorry. Hi, no, you're fine, no worries. Hi, Thank you. Alright, come on. Kayla will be so jealous. I promise Kayla I would not send her any pictures. Alright. So, we have, you can go into all of these okay, rooms. Okay, cool. Um, start at the end and then go back. So, is this one? Well, this is technically our last okay. one. Hello. Um, oh my gosh! Babies. This is our this is our chunky room. Okay. <laughs> if you see Lizzo up there, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's paramedic Polly. Paramedic. Po oh, I just saw your guys' post for this one. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, a special what's, baby? What's that story? So paramedic Polly, um, unfortunately, his owner passed away. Yeah. And he we named him paramedic it's because yeah, that little baby down there. <laughs> do you, you want to just you, like go in? And you why are you giving that face? <laughs> this why cat, if she's telling quality. us the story about right now. Um, so his owner unfortunately passed away, and he followed the paramedics. He just kept following them, like tried to jump in their car. He was like, "Take me with you." Um, You're gonna have to go in, and I'm gonna close it because I don't want to leave the door open. So we'll, like. So we named him after the paramedics. <laughs> And now he's here with us, and he says, I'm trying to shed a, just a couple pounds. <laughs> oh, he's cute. And there are a couple cats above you that you were showing them earlier. Yeah, so that big girl <laughs> is Lizzo. <laughs> she normally has her tongue sticking out. We call it a blep. <laughs> and we love her for it. Cute. And then the one next to her, is that... That's Van Fleet. Van Fleet is our true senior in the room at 10 years old. Wow. Um, he is part Siamese, so that's where you're seeing that gorgeous blue eyes, that face. Chad, like, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> he's 
But they're like, what is going on? We are bird watching. Yeah, he doesn't like you guys. Oh, that's cool. It's going to have windows. I didn't think oh, about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have windows. There's trees there, so they really do get to bird watching. Yeah, I love it. Love that. Thank you for linking that Just selfie. Every once in a while. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm going to escape from there. And the other room is bigger. Up working back legs, right? Was that still the case? I remember the last time we That's came the in. one that next room. Next yeah. room. Should we go? Hi. So this in this one they don't have the Can I can we go in here one? if not let yeah. this guy out? So this is Sears. Is this the escape artist? He is, but Hi. you if you just put your foot in, he'll be fine. He okay. just wants attention more than anything Maybe else. Just stay. Hello. And what I would recommend for this boy mm -hmm. is, sorry, I'm going to reach behind you, is actually taking this wand toy. He is, sorry, they love it. <laughs> Zombie, thank you for the $5 donation. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh, that's sushi. So sushi. that's sushi and that's Sears. They look identical. Sears. Except sushi has a teeny mustache. That's Sears. <laughs> What is that sound? Whoa! Colopsia, thank you for the $50 donation. Thank you so much. Hi! Nice to meet you. You're very handsome. Oh. He's nice. Yeah, we love the tin scratches. <laughs> we love it so much. Oh, you're so cute. Tiny mic, though? I will, I will, guys. We'll, we'll do the tiny mic. So you can what? Wipe it. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Tano, thank you for the twenty-five dollars. Sushi. That's a cute name for him. I like it. Beep, beep, beep. No, he Sears doesn't not care. today. He's not into it. <laughs> That's okay. It's not right now. And then we have guys. two real snoozers oh up there. They are Big out for the count. He's got a little mustache. Yeah, that's what she said. He does have a little mustache. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I just figure if it's going to go in multiple mouths yeah, back to back. Right. Yeah. Just make sure everyone's safe. Sorry, the kitten spilled water again. Oops. <laughs> As they do. Yeah, crybaby just oh, splashed me with the water. Oh, Look, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Canna Jute, thank you for the five dollar donation. Very cool. If you want, I can show you. Yeah, yeah like, do you want this back or just stay in here? Oh, that can stay in there. Yeah. Yeah, she was. She didn't realize. Beep, beep. Bye, kitty. I hear a baby cat. So this is definitely one of our more special rooms. Yeah. Um, you'll see we have four babies on the ground. They, for the most part, always stay on the ground. Um, three of them have paralyzed hind legs. Oh, okay. So they're floor babies. Um, Ty, thank you for the five dollars. So this is one with paralyzed back legs. So are these ones, are they gonna get wheelchairs like the dogs do or what do you do for cats? That's a really great question. Um, so we've actually found that for cats, wheelchairs tend to hinder them more. They actually can move really, really well on their own even with those paralyzed back legs. Particularly that baby that you're petting, mm -hmm. that's Deoxys. She is 10 months old and she is so, so, so fast. Okay, nice. <laughs> she can run across the floor. Uh, they do use their upper arms and all of that power to bring their, their hind area with them. Cool. Good. That's awesome. Um, Bionathan, thank you for the $5 donation. Yes, everybody, toe beans. Everyone's very excited about the toes. <laughs> and this one is Flojo. <laughs> What? <laughs> um, hi, my sweetheart. She's posing. Flojo's the only one who um, doesn't have paralyzed back legs, but her back legs are stuck in this funky position, mm -hmm. so she doesn't walk correctly. Okay. Um, and because of that, you know, we just keep an extra eye on her, but she's able to walk, jump, and do all that fun stuff. Who's this? That's Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Hi, Tashi. Tasha is eight years old. 
Um, she has a couple things going on. She came to us with some old lady problems. Mm. <laughs> so she has hyperthyroidism oh. and kidney disease. So we give her fluids every day to help her body. She takes them like a champ. Nice. And all she wants is pets. Yeah, she just wants to sit sweet. on a couch with a person and mm -hmm. be pet all day long. Um, Duck, thank you for the $10 donation. GDP, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. What are we at, you guys? Oh, it jumped up. Um, <laughs> very sweet. And then there's one, oh, two. Yeah, so these two, um, the Torty is Lily May. Cute. And our brown and white friend is Egler. They did not know each other mm -hmm. before we put them in this room, but they immediately became best friends, and they are attached to the hip now. Aww, They're sweet. always cuddling together. They groom each other. They eat next to each other. It's really, really cute. You'll rarely see them apart. Fiverr and FX, thank you guys for the subs. We are almost at $5,200. Thank you guys so much. And if you pet Egler, the brown and white this kitty, mm -hmm, she's Hello, so friendly. Hello. She loves attention. He's Everyone oh. has just decided it Good is morning. bedtime. <laughs> Good morning, sleepy cat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Egler. That's a good name. I like yeah. it. I like it. <laughs> oh. Oh, good morning. Big stretch. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Hello. Oh, he has a cute face. You have a really cute face. Yeah, she, she'll wake up for attention all the time. <laughs> Her eyes are really close together. <laughs> In a cute way. I like it. I like her. Um, someone said, do the animals get spayed and neutered before leaving? It's a great question. So they will 100% get spayed and neutered mm -hmm. through us, but not necessarily before leaving the shelter. You can take them home yeah. if they're not fixed. We would schedule an appointment, mm -hmm. um, and that would be covered in what we do. Nice. Guys, I think I'm going to do most of the tiny mic after the stream. Um, I'll come back for him. Unless you guys, do you guys have a question for Egler now that she's awake? Should I just do this one really quick? Doing these silly Good little morning, like interviews. Sweetie. You can see Lily Mae just leans into her for that protection. Oh my, my mom just texted me. That one looks like my grandpa's cat. Yes, it does, mom. Thank you for, thank you for being here. Hello. It does look like Bart. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, what is your favorite nap position? Wait, Egler, stop. <laughs> Egler's like, I'm, I'm moving now. Egler. <laughs> she's on a move. <laughs> and this is how they move. <laughs> okay, she's moving. <laughs> this, hi, you come over here. Okay, what was this one's name? The one you're petting? Oh, that one's Lily May. Lily May, that's right. Thank you for the don't know. <laughs> Lily Mae, what's your favorite nap position? She Thank said, I don't sharing. know if I tried. She's, She's like, Egler scared. left and now I'm scared. <laughs> what is that? She's way more confident when Egler is by her side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do them after. Also, when there's only one person in here, as small rooms. Guys, Egler drinking ASMR. <laughs> Is it nice? What'd you think? <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. Oh boy. That's so fun. Um, this is American Tail. She has no tail. American a Tail. Bit ironic. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's very sweet. Um, she has a little bit problem with pooping and urinating by mm -hmm. herself, just like those other cats. 
Um, I would say don't look at her actual butthole. It's not looking very great today. Yeah. But she feeling. is just so <laughs> sweet and soft. Um, and she wanted cute. playtime. So that's what I'm for. Um, Muhammad, thank you for the 50 Notorious with $5. Thank you guys so much. What? Don't <laughs> fall out. I don't want to do that. Hi. Okay. Oh, guys, Hi. we made it to Rite Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Rite Aid's in here. Okay. And if you want, you can give them treats. Oh, I would love that. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this one's cute. Who's this? That's Weston Easton. Weston Easton. He is our floofy resident. Do you want a treat? Is this right, Aid? No, that one. We don't want this. Is just pets. Only petting. Norm McDonald's Farm. <laughs> they just came yesterday. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Do you want this one? Oh, there's uh -uh. drama. Weston, play nice, please. Do you want a treat? Please don't cause drama on my hand. How about you? How about maybe you go over here? Would you like this? Mm, no. <laughs> Come here. This one's very sweet. Oh, he does want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet cat, my gosh. He likes a cameraman. Kitty. And who's this in here? That one is Rite Aid. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, the teeny black and white girl is Rite Aid. Say hi. The lady, the myth, hi, the myth, the legend. Hi, Rite Aid. Oh. Pardon my intrusion into your house. Would you like a treat? She smelled my hand. <gasps> Do you know what these are? She just got so excited. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she likes the treats. She knows that sound she does, doesn't she? <laughs> Cat's really good about that. She's got a little head. You can give her a bunch. We spoil them here. You want a bunch of treats? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Come here. Hey. <laughs> you lose it. There. Wow. Guys, some crunching. <laughs> They're right there. Ma'am? She hasn't quite figured it out. <laughs> Ma'am? No, no, no. I love her, but... <laughs> oh, you're so close. It's warmer. What, colder? What? Oh my gosh, she's deep. One more. No, that's my thumb. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> First try. <laughs> She's very cute. Hi, you were very sweet. This one just got here yesterday? Yeah. She's so friendly. You know, most cats that come in go through what we call shelter shock. Yeah. They might take one or two days to settle in. Mm -hmm. He did not need that yeah, time. He's like just immediately adjusted. loves everyone, wants <laughs> the pets, really nice. wants the attention. Do you know where he came from? We get all of our cats from other rescues and shelters. Got it. Um, so we're kind of like the safety net for mm -hmm. other shelters and rescues. Which a lot of the time makes it pretty difficult to figure out where they're from because like what you were talking about earlier How you found that dog in San Antonio a lot of the time it'll just be um, Yeah, the search team finding them and then just bring them to the shelter with no background information. So yeah, it's kind Makes of sense. <laughs> Close up Hello, right Aid. And we do have an orange kitty up on top on the windowsill. Now, be prepared for the name. He is a boy, but his name is Barbara. 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 <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> Say hi, Barbara. Barbara came to us with a ringworm, uh, but we treated it, and he's all clear now, so he got to move in here. <laughs> oh my God! What a model! Yeah, he's giving you the blue steel pose. 
Oh, wow. Legend, thank you for the McDonald's $5. loves you. Captain, thank you for the five dollars. Kevin underscore just donated five dollars to us. Oh. Thank you. I'm a big Rite Aid fan. She's funny. The names get better with each cat. Yeah. There's some really good names. Hello, you are a oh, lot, huh? Big sweaty. You are so fun. You got sharp nails. It feels really nice. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Scritches. What a nice guy. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my gosh. Tea fries. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. This cat's gonna come out with you. Look out. No, 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 no. Okay. Last cat room. Oh, and babies in there. Yeah, we do have babies. <laughs> Who is in here? We have a bunch of kitties in here. Some of them, this is our go slow room. So that means some of them might be a little more anxious. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, I can help you out with this room. Hello everyone. Melissa, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Hello everyone. How are we feeling today? How are we feeling right now? Oh, he's a little one down there. Hi. Oh yeah, you're new. You're friendly. You friendly. <laughs> this is Furlock Holmes. Of course. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Solving every mystery the cat room has. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Like, who took all my tweets? That's so cute. Who took all my tweets? Who is Grassy Knoll? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Grassy Knoll is up there. Okay. Grassy Knoll originally came to us and was supposed to be in our barn program. Uh -huh. So we have a whole barn program for cats that would just prefer not to be around people mm -hmm. um, and are at risk at other shelters, mm -hmm. and we have a program for that. Yeah. So we caught Grassy Knoll. They were about to get adopted as a barn cat, but I spent some time with him, and he was friendly. Yeah. And he was interested, and he was curious, and I'm like, you're not a barn cat. So we put him in here, and he's settling in, but I'm excited to see what he's like when he relaxes. Grassy Knoll, nice. Devek, thank you for the $25. Um, and then there's one down here. I don't know if you can squat to see him. He's he's in there. <laughs> Cute. Hello. Good morning. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Good morning. He's really cute. Hi, Papa. And there's one more black and white guy up there. There's actually two. There's two. a bunch in this room. Oh, they're hiding. Yeah, this is Wheat. Wheat is Wheat. a little more of a scaredy cat right now. Hi, Wheat. That one's, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, Furlock, Furlock loves the love. And then... He's tucked all the way underneath. In the yeah, bottom. oh, that's okay. We don't have to <laughs> so disturb him. So, Roly-Poly is hiding all the way at the bottom. <laughs> Roly Poly is usually exactly where Grassy Knoll is, but Grassy Knoll came in and stole her spot. She's very confused about it. She doesn't know where to go now. Furlock. <laughs> Hello, Furlock. Be nice. Likes pets. Nice kitty. Hi. Solving crime. Furlock also came from our ringworm unit mm -hmm. um, and has since been cleared. Cool. Guys, Furlock Holmes. ASMR. Do you hear that? It's very nice, but he's so... He likes the mic. <laughs> Your star. Do you have anything to say to the people? No. He said no. Oh, oh. Oh, hi. Are you gonna eat my elbow? Okay, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Hello. I wasn't done with attention. <laughs> thank you. The Kai and Ta, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. 
The donations are crazy today. And there's a bunch of you here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hi. What are you doing? You guys want to see the, the kittens in these cages? Maybe? The babies. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go. Okay? You're, you're great. So I can't remember if I brought this up with y'all earlier when we were doing the tour, but you'll see on some of these um, cages that they're sponsored. Yeah. So a lot of people will do that for like weddings, birthdays, um, if you have a cat pass away, um, a lot of things like that, like in loving memory. Yeah. Um, so it's a really cool way to, one, give back to the shelter, but then also remember an animal or celebrate something in life. So cool. It's pretty cool. Love that. How are you supposed to choose a cat to adopt? That's too hard. That's the hard part. Oh, yes. we can help you with that. <laughs> they can help you. She's got don't, you. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> cute, very cute. Guys, Kyle Kebab. <laughs> Mr. Kebab, if you will. Posse, thank you for the dono. Dog, thank you for the $15. Of course. There's also this whole wall we just walked past. Space, do you want to walk down this? Um, no, like this way. Little kitten. Oh, that's cute. It's Terry. Thank you for the $50 donation. <laughs> Robson, thank you for the dono. And this little one on the bottom. This is Silverado Sage. He's really cute. Uh, Silverado Sage um, actually has a broken back. Oh my gosh. And paralyzed hind legs. So when they grow up, she's going to kind of look like those other cats mm -hmm. that we were visiting. Yeah. Um, but her back is actively broken and still healing right now. That's sad. So we're working through it with her. Robson, thank you for the five. Um, yeah, there's this whole wall with a whole, a bunch of, a bunch more names. <laughs> so these, these two get playtime together. Cute. During the day. Uh, they also met here. We actually only introduced them a few days ago. And they have to be separated at night and for feeding time. Sorry. But we give them play dates during the day for them Cute. to play and groom each Hi. other. Hello. I'm sniffing. Okay. Who's this one? Oh, cool eyes. This is Rob Katdashian, and yeah, he has, <laughs> yes, that is his name. <laughs> can not just say that? <laughs> this, this is Rob Katdashian. <laughs> he has heterochromia, so two different colored eyes. Guys, okay, stand by. Oh, there it is. That is the beauty. Cool. Look at you looking Kardashian. right into the camera. Viz, my name, thank you for the 25. Thank you for talking and doing all this. Appreciate it. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> we love it. I so talk cute. about these babies all day. Lemon Custard Lisa? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is Lemon Custard Lisa. <laughs> okay, like yes, it. she is the queen bee. <laughs> Sweetie. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, she's cute. Good morning. Good morning. Should you want to come say hi? So we're allowed to open it up. That would help a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting through bars. We hard. can do this. That's great. Nice. There you go. Oh, big, big stretchy. <laughs> big stretchy. And back to sleep. Classic cat. Said whoever names these needs a raise. We all take turns. <laughs> yeah, you all get raises. <laughs> But um, some of my favorites, one of my favorites was Missing Air Fryer. Missing and Air Fryer. Missing Air Fryer. It was missing. A little backstory on that. There was actually a missing air fryer. That day. And so like that just... Yeah. Someone yeah. sent out an email and the subject <laughs> said missing air fryer. And my manager read it and went, cat name. That's incredible. And it happened. <laughs> Hello, Tammy. This is Questa. Questa is a big girl. She is. Um, we can open it up. Questa is the sweetest baby. Hello. She said, I'm as big as my bed. Thank you for the five. Throw away. Thank you for the five. 
How do you lose an air fryer? Chet, that's not what we're here to talk about today. No, it's a really good question. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good question about the air fryer. We don't know. I don't oh. think that was ever resolved. Oh, I think it a mystery. Back, actually, oh. Allegedly. Bring mm-hmm. Sherlock in. Someone her head is just so small compared to the rest of her body. <laughs> She's so <pretty> cute. <laughs> Do you want to show them how hey, you waddle? Baby. Do you want to show them how you waddle? You're allowed to come out? We give her uh, breaks during the day to walk the hallway. Yeah. So that she can actually move her body and her legs. Pasta. Mattis, thank you for the $5. You want to come out, my love? Oh, who's it's such a good sleeping. girl? Who's such a good girl? Wanna come here? People are asking about all the different types of food. Oh, so what's going on here is our dear friend Questa um, refused to eat when she came in. Mm. She was really stressed coming in here, and sometimes when cats are really stressed out, they won't eat anything. So we are giving her a buffet of options to make sure that she's at least getting something throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Once she gets in a good place and she's comfortable and she's eating regularly, we will start to put her on a diet. But first we have to make sure that she's okay and eating. Right. Right, babes? Case logic. I can't believe you don't want to come out. She just... No? You're good where you are? She is good. Come here, baby. I'm staying in bed today. Come on, come out. Do we need a cat toy? Hi, Is that wet food on your nose? <laughs> it is wet food on your nose. Here, Robin, I'm going to take her out. You want to hold this for a sec? Yeah. Um... I might have made her mad because I was giving her some meds earlier, mm. so she might be a little cranky <laughs> at us. It's good for you to exercise. Oh, <laughs> it's good for you. Big chunk. Here, let me get her. Like, toy. I'm gonna go back in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You got to exercise. You got to move your leggies. Oh, be <laughs> strong. <laughs> Because she's on the move. Let's see how fast she goes. <laughs> no? And? King of Hearts, thank you for the $100 donation. You just want she just wants pets. Yeah. <laughs> she's trying to rub into her food. <laughs> what eat? Yeah, so Cresta is also what we call here at the shelter a social eater. Mm-hmm. So cats oh. who don't eat unless yeah. there's a human present next to them encouraging them. And that's actually a task that we have volunteers do a lot. So if you wanted to volunteer oh here and sit with a cat and help them eat their food, we would love it. There you go, chat. That could be you. <laughs> nice pets. Hey, oh. Hello. What are some of the pets' names? We've gone through them. We've gone through quite a few names. You can get, you can click back in the VOD. This is Questa, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is Questa. Questa 11. Eleven. Questa 11, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Questa 11. So uh, Questa was actually born with us. If there's a number behind the name, that means they were born in our custody. Oh. And we use the hurricane system to do that. Got it. So we go through the entire alphabet, and she was the 11th Q litter that year. Got it. Cool. She has a baby she's hanging out with. We can put Questa back in. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Who's that? That is Gravy Train. Gravy Train. <laughs> I love it. Hi. Her motor going. Just snuggling. He wouldn't let me go by. Is that a toy? There's something to eat. Uh, for people who like the names, this is Cry Baby. Right, Cry Baby. <laughs> is he? Does he cry a lot? Mm, only sometimes. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <laughs> he does make noise. <laughs> he does have little chirpies. These names 
times are good right above Cry Baby. Oh. He was named appropriately. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hi. Oh, you purring. Okay, Ron, thank you for the 50. I got him, I got him. <laughs> We're all good. Hi, baby. Chat above crybaby is north, south, east, and west. Here, I'll shut this. We can open that. <laughs> no? Thank you, Bubba. Thank you, Bubba. Good morning, my little babies. Oh, 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 oh. oh good babies. Morning. Hi. Are you making noises? Yeah. Agreed. You're very cute. You're very cute. <laughs> Another one. Hello. Hello. Microphone. How old are these guys, do you know? Yeah, so these babies are all about uh, two to three months old. Cute. Lovely lime, thank you for the $5 donation. Very nice, don't jump out. You just stay in there. Let me stay in there. Yes, you're very nice. You're very cute and nice. Look at this little face. Wow, this is very nice. A little head massage. Yes, is that nice? <laughs> Squishy. Squishy. Head massage number two. Head massage. <laughs> they don't have treats, they just smell like it. The face the orange made, the orange one is very cute. They're both very cute. We have two that don't even realize the cage is open and that there's a person <laughs> here. They're knocked out. Do you know who's who? Yeah, we can. <laughs> we do. We do. Who um, am I petting right now? So the orange cream one is south. Okay. And the gray ooh, one. The gray one. I think is west. West. And then the one next to them, this black one, is north, and up on top is east. Cute. <laughs> Garmin, thank you for the $25 donation. That is awesome. All right, babies. Say bye-bye, kitties. Bye-bye, kitties. Say bye-bye. No, 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 no. They say we try escapee. Thank you. Escapee. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Okay. <laughs> All right, Chad, do you have any other questions about the cats? I was not choking the cat. Relax. That's <laughs> not what was happening. No cats were harmed. Can I have them? You yes. Gotta, you gotta come here. Yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. All right. Bye. Goodbye. So. Duraflo, thank you for the five dollars. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you so much for introducing us oh, to all of them. You like, are we very just kinda, welcome. Like, threw that on you. I oh, appreciate it's it. It's all good. It's hey. all good. They all love right. getting the attention. Yes, you guys can adopt them all. I will take that back. Thank you so much. Dude, everybody here is awesome about talking and awesome. just like being awesome. on stream. Cool. Here you go. Amazing, <laughs> thank you. All right, thanks, Leo. Appreciate it. Oh, right. I stole their treats. Stand by. Stealing treats? Yeah. <laughs> Taking them home. I stole these. <laughs> thank you. All right. Awesome. So now for the last room. Um, 
We're gonna take y'all inside. So when we go back in, if y'all can just spray your shoes again. Yes. That'd be for awesome. Sure. Um, and then I was just talking with my team, uh -huh. and um, we want to do a little bit something different for this room, okay. if possible. So. Yep. Um, Y'all have been amazing today, by the way. Thank you so much. You guys have been amazing. Um, this is so easy. So we've never done this before, but we thought it would be really fun to set a goal for donations for this room. And yeah. then if y'all hit it, you can name all the puppies. Oh. <laughs> Chat. Um, so I'm not sure what we're at right now um, for goal. I don't know what we're at right now either. Chat, what are we at? Half Moon, thank you for the five. Timbo, thank you for the $50. What are we at right now? We're at... And I just said that, and you're probably going to get a bunch of donations. So <laughs> we'll subtract a little bit from that. 5680 is what we're at right now. Okay, cool. So do you want to do like 6300 bucks? Let's do 6500 6500 bucks, and you can name the whole litter? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, and so the only other thing is... We aren't allowed to have duplicate names here. Okay. So I'm gonna have to be. We have that whole system that I was letting y'all know about. We I'm won't just gonna name have them to be Bob. Running them through there. Don't um, worry. To make sure that we don't have duplicate oh, names. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. <laughs> With other animals here. Yeah, I thought you meant animals. all the puppies can't have the same name. I was like, we wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Guys, it's like F10. Awesome. All right. Um, if that wasn't clear to all of you, we're gonna try. To hit sixty five I'll spray your shoes. Um, sixty five hundred dollars. And if we hit sixty five hundred dollars, then you guys can name the puppies that we're about to meet. Um Witchley, thank you for the fifteen dollars. All right. Kai T, thank you for the twenty five Funkin, thank you for the fifteen. All right, awesome. let's see. So I'm about to introduce y'all to Maybe our newest litter of puppies, if not one of our newest, and their mama. Oh, I know. So this is Celeste, and she is an absolute sweetheart. Come Hi, here, Celeste. girl. Come here. I got her. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. So she is just the sweetest thing. As you can see, Space. she is very newly a mommy, um, and she's still feeding the puppies. Um, so we have to keep her in here with them or else we would make sure that she had a little more space to herself. But uh, we do want to keep them together. And then here are all the puppies right here. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. So what is the story with this litter? Did she have them here? I yeah, so like Juan was telling you a little bit earlier, most times other shelters in the Austin area will give up their pregnant moms to yeah. us just because it is a lot of work. We have the clinic here in case they need any medical need or stuff. And then also, once there's eight more puppies, a lot of these shelters right now are just completely filled up. So it's yeah. really tough for them to take care of. So um, yeah, we uh, we brought in pretty Celeste over here. And <laughs> um, we hit it? Wait, oh my god. Well, Wolf Dog with 25, Ara with 15, Sunflower with 100. <laughs> Fuji with 20, Extra with 15, Kite with 25, Broker with 50, Jana with 200, Vinkle with 25, Cadillac with 25, Satan with 100, Zora with 15, John with 35, Wolf with 25, Stealthy 50, Inet 5, Blue Shampoo 10, Lego, Honey Buns 20, 20, Funkin, um, Offspring, Wolf Dog, Aura, Okay, I don't know how you guys did that that fast. That is insane. Thank y'all um, so much. <laughs> that, that is was, that was ridiculous. way faster than I thought. I thought we were going to have to sit in here. So unless they think um, you're pretty. They just gave you a bunch of money everybody. they pretty. Hi, <laughs> everybody. Hi. How are we going to do this? How's, what's, the, what's the system? You can pick your favorite names out of the chat. Chat? And, uh, how do we do this? <laughs> I'm not prepared. Hello. How many? I don't even know how many there are. Four. Seven. Seven Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So seven puppies. I've got my eyes in the sky again that are uh, gonna look up the names for us. So whichever one's your favorite, you can just start telling me and I'll okay. look up for you. Judgment, thank you for the five. Suzkip with twenty-five. Exceptional with fifteen. Thank you. Casey with fifteen. Thank you. Hi. This mom is very sweet. What well, the mom's name is Celeste. Yeah, Celeste. Hello, Celeste. And she Hi, is what probably smelling? one of our sweetest dogs here. I come in here what way too smelling? much. I can't lie. And she loves this. Oh, cute. <laughs> Casey, thank you. 
Um, judgment, thank you. Um, can I sit in here? Is that a bad idea? Oh, yeah, you can sit in there. Okay. That's fine. Chat, I'm about to have puppies all over me, but I want, like, the <laughs> shot of, like, everything. Hello, everybody. Okay, so, we're going <laughs> to... I don't even know how to tell them apart. Um, do you guys want to give me some names, and I will hold it one up, <laughs> and then we can <laughs> screenshot and send them back so you guys can keep track of the names. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, stop saying emotes because I don't know them all. Hello. Wicked Elephant with 20 Turo. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm looking at... They're all saying Forsen. <laughs> Forsen? <laughs> Do you know who that is? <laughs> okay. He's a streamer. You said Forsen? Yeah. Okay. Does it... We're allowed to name whatever you want, so if you want Should one... Should I be sexing them to give them, like, male and female names? Do you guys care? Does it... I mean, you heard the names in the category, so... Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just going to hold it up, and then you're, we got it. Someone, a mod, can you screenshot it and then remember the name? I'll take pictures, too. Oh, he'll it. take a pic. It's yeah. just force him. <laughs> you're also going to have to remember if I hold up the same one. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's going to be tough, so. Okay, force him. Congratulations. That's legendary. That's your name. Okay. All right. Let's not leak anything. Like, okay. I'm so sorry, Forsen. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. All right. All right. One. Chat. Give me another name. <laughs> Stop saying Hassan. We're not doing it like this. We're not doing it like this. I need a different name. Only one streamer name. Stop it. I'm, a lot of people are saying Peepo. Peepo? P-E-E-P-O. Okay. I like that one. Peepo? Can I just take you, because you've been jumping on me the whole time? How about this one? Okay. Peepo? Say Peepo? I think Peepo seems to be a lot of people's favorites when yeah, they get in there. Like he makes one. friends, yeah. You like this one. Is that your name? He, uh, he's got a little attitude to him, for sure. Okay. All right. We got a Forsen, we got a Peepo, so brain rotted. <laughs> Guys, anything, what else you got? What else you got? Tiny, tiny Mike, but M-I-K-E, like Mike. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that is creative, that's creative. I'll give you guys that one, it's pretty good. What's the smallest? Is this, you're small. I think him, yeah. Come here, here we take the smallest one. I hope it's a boy, because it's kind of a crazy name for a girl. <laughs> Tiny Mike, she's biting me. <laughs> she's biting me. <laughs> yeah, a few of them are okay. confusing right now. All right, we got Tiny Mike. I'm just assuming that these aren't duplicates. If they are, please tell me. <laughs> Hello, can I have this back? Oh, did I just do that? No. Did I just drop her? <laughs> just, she just somersaulted. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, we have we've done three. There are four more. Everybody, focus up. <laughs> Guys. Oh, there's drama. <laughs> they want a stompy. A stompy junior. Who's? There's drama. <laughs> Who's force? Oh, this one I have not. This is. Could this be stompy? Stompy. Oh, he's, this one's nice. You're not too crazy. Oh, you're nice. Hello. A stompy. What do you think? You got some good names so far. Yeah, that's the name of our email. <laughs> Hi, okay, okay, I'll put you down. Okay, 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 you're crazy. You're crazy. Wow. Chat. Is it two more or three more? Three, three, three more. more. Yep, we got we got Forsen, Peepo, Tiny Mike, and Stompy so far. <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> All right, three more. Oh my God. Okay, this one's kind of a doozy. Um, it's Garbazard. Garb like Charizard, but with kind garbage. of. It's yeah. It's okay. G A R B A Z A R D. Okay, where's Garbazard? Who's, can you be Garbazard? I think you can. Chat, have you seen this one yet? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Garby, Garbazard? 
And we'll take pictures and send them to you. Okay, so great. Have, like, the, so we'll have yeah, the pictures of them. Um, I'll have someone's taking screenshots of them and can like put the name on it too. So okay, it's awesome. easier cool. for y'all to line it up. Sorry about that. Um, feeding time. Uh, yeah. Awesome, I can hold here for a sec. Okay, there are two more names, you guys. Two more names. If that's for the puppies, if we could just leave yeah. it out for a sec. Like, what do you yeah, got? When we're yeah, done. just throw it in the center. Awesome, sounds great. It, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Ouchie. Awesome, thank you. Good girl. I'm seeing a bunch of <laughs> This one's dumb. Um, you? Did I just hold you up? Guys, they all look the same. What about you? Can I see you? Rhyme? R-I-M-E? R-I-M-E? Yeah, like okay. dime, but with an R. Okay. Did I already hold this one up? <laughs> Chat, when I said this one's dumb, I was talking about the name, not the dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's drama. Hi. More drama. No, you want attention. Rhyme. You okay, there's attention. one more. I gotta figure out which one it is. This? I think it might be that guy, yeah. Is it? I, it might be. I can't remember. I think this is Forsen. Okay. <laughs> Are you Forsen? No. Chat. No. This was Forsen. This is Forsen. <laughs> which one's Forsen? <laughs> they look almost identical. Can one of you raise your hand if you're Forsen? Oh my god. Okay, I don't know. One of the. Chat, it's the last one. I think you've already had Did a mayo. Did you say mayo for one? Yeah, have we it, have you've a already, mayo. they have yeah. a mayo, you guys. Can't do mayo. That's the only one so far. Ouch. Um, and the only other thing about these pups is they are all available for foster or adoption right now if anyone wants a puppy. So Chat, anyone just want? Just throwing that out there. Celeste already has a foster, I think, because oh, she's good. such a sweet girl. She is but, so sweet. Uh, I think most of her puppies are available still. Good girl. You guys want to name it Cutie? Like a Q, like QT? QT. We're naming it after Cutie. Where is it? This one? Mm -hmm. Cutie. She's a streamer too. Cinderella, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cutie Cinderella. Are you Cutie Cinderella? Are you a boy? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Whine about it. Wow, guys. Well done. You've, you've done, I'm sorry. <laughs> you've done it. I'm not sitting on it. He's just chewing on my Did we back get one pocket. for mayo instead? I might have missed that. Cutie. And then. That's the last. I think two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, no, you're right. That's seven. That's awesome. it. That's all We got of them. seven. Well, are you stuck? You stuck. Hey, guys. Thank you for the $50 donation. Ouchie. Ouchie. Guys, let's foster all of them. Let's take them all back. Hi. Wow. How old are they? Like a month? Almost 7K, that's crazy. Give Stompy the ring? No. Oh. I lied. We might have a QT as well. Guys, change it. Yeah, we already have a QT Cinderella, change. is what they're saying. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat, but. <laughs> chat. It needs a different name. What about chat? <laughs> you can name it after yourselves. <laughs> Chat pog. Let's just let's do chat. chat. <laughs> All right. I like it. Are you biting chat? That's not very nice. <laughs> oh my god. He has a... <laughs> He's rabid. He's not. That was a joke. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Okay. 
Guys, I, you can't tell, I have holes all over my upper body. <laughs> little tiny holes from little tiny teeth. Like. So I'm getting some info right now. We have a QT Cinderella, and then we also have, a, I think, a dog named Pog Slammer. Which I don't know what the slammer part is, but the pog they is. <laughs> had not come up with that one. Thank goodness, <laughs> guys. Good thing we didn't name him Pog Slammer. <laughs> Hi, you're lot. You eating my phone? Relax, calm, zen, focus. <laughs> Leaked lock pattern. That's old school. Can we show Cutie the cat? Cutie can watch the VOD. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the one hiding behind. He's not hiding. He's he's chewing on my pants. Yeah, Don't we need to get them some you. frozen towels or something. It's so close to 7K. $6,793 in donations so far. That is You guys insane. hit that goal very quickly. <laughs> guys, I got him. He's pinned. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. He gave up. Oh. <laughs> Hello. So what, these are cattle dog something? You think they're full cattle dog? Personally, I think they might have a little bit of blue healer in them, because mm -hmm. that's what my girlfriend keeps telling me, but yeah. I don't know specifically. And like I said, most times when they're mixed like this, it's kind of tough to tell, but. Pog Slammer, stop. They like the name Pog Slammer. They're upset they didn't come up with that themselves. <laughs> Thank you for the $7 donation. What do you think? You having a nice time? He's buried. He's upset about it. Can I thank you for the two hundred and seven dollar donation? He has made several donations today. Thank you, Montius. Thank you for the twenty five dollars. Ibex. Thank you for the twenty five dollars. Dude, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Oh no, not the pants. I beg if I thank you for the twenty-five dollars, not the pants. Forsen's chewing my pants. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not Forsen. I don't know who that is. I can't keep track. Bless you. Yeah, so most of our puppies um, we keep here. Y'all got to see Puppy Row and then. Yeah these puppies as well. We do have another site for um, our neonatal kittens, which uh -huh. I'm not sure if y'all you're familiar with those, but pretty much um, it's when either they're born early or they aren't able to get food. Um, they're very, very small. And so um, we'll bring them in, feed them every day. Um, it's usually when they don't have a mother. Um, and so they aren't able to eat and they come in very malnourished. That's hard work. That's that's a lot of bottle feeding. It is very scientific. It's super interesting to watch because they'll literally bring them into a separate room, yeah. um, take, put them on a scale, weigh them, take a syringe, feed them, weigh them again, and make sure that they gained weight that day. So it's a super, super wow, cool program yeah. that a lot of places don't do. We'll get this one. Amesies, thank you for the five dollar donation. Um, is that Tiny Mike behind me? He's taking a break. Yeah, Mick, that would be excellent. Thank you. You have sharp little teeth, all of you. Sharp teeth. Whoa. <laughs> How, how old did you say they were? Less than a month? Less than two months. Less than two sure. months. Um, yeah, 
kicking it. You're all doing great. Quite sure. I know that they they were in the marketing team's office for like two weeks, and we just moved them over here because they yeah. needed more space. Now that they're big guys, but Hi. sharp teeth. Who is who? I forgot already. Mick is sending me the imager. <laughs> I'll go back and bot and figure it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely send you all pictures. They're going for the pants again. Adopt Tiny Mike right now. Guys, I'm not getting another dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have room for another dog. How many puppies do you have right now? I have two. Okay, um, awesome. But I live in a tiny house, so it's, it's about all I can do. Yeah. What are you crying about? Why are you crying? Oh. You no bones. Why are you crying? Hello. Beep, 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 beep. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Guys, they're slowly dropping like flies. Look. <laughs> there are two behind me that are over it. <laughs> the one just crashed over here. He's gonna crash. Just watch. Yeah, it's funny because they all have puppy energy, but then yeah, come in and here then they're around just like three or four, and they're just, just knocked all out. Yeah. <laughs> the dream. This is kind of the dream. I'm gonna be honest. This is the dream. When do they all go out to fosters? Or at what age? It's a great question. I don't have the answer for you on that. I'm. Going to shoot out a guess here and say probably in the next three weeks to a month or so. We oh, probably wow. want them to get up to like eight eight or nine weeks and yeah. then we'll let them get You fostered, have a lot of fosters that like foster fails. Foster what? Foster fails. Like they end up adopting them. Um, I can't imagine Yes, yes and no. So raising say, one of these and then not keeping it. <laughs> th there's a lot of our fosters that are doing it because they've done it for so long and so at this point they probably have already had 10 foster fails and aren't having many more. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would say a lot of the time if someone ends up coming in fostering a dog for the first time, um, yeah. more often than not probably. Yeah, that, <laughs> they, uh, that makes they end sense. up falling in love. That makes sense. <clears throat> I almost foster failed. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be hard not to. Um, Sigaro, thank you for the $15. Kira, thank you for the $5. With that being said, though, um, a lot of the people that do, like, the social media stuff for us and that type mm -hmm. of stuff, they're the professionals at it. So it's like uh -huh. they have 10 dogs at their house. Oh, my gosh. They'll have 10 dogs at their house for the next five years, but they'll all be different. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, no. He died. <laughs> He's dead. Say goodbye, guys. Puppies stay with their mom until at least five weeks, um, and then they can go to foster, preferably in at least pairs, is what they say. Hello. Say hello to chat. Just donated five dollars to Austin Pets Alive. Hello. He's a cute one. He's a cute one. <laughs> they definitely smell like puppies. Having an excellent time. Hello. Hello, you sleepy, huh? You just want, this one just wants my mic. He keeps going after it. <laughs> Should I just give it to him? How much do these cost, space? I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> teeth. Sharp teeth. He'd be a good hole puncher. We should have named it Hole Puncher. It seems like an APA name. <laughs> hole Puncher. <laughs> Office supplies. <laughs> Guy, give us the price, guys. We're at Austin Pets Alive. It is a um, rescue, an animal rescue, an animal shelter. You can do Command APA for more info. Um, not This is not a, a breeder. Not selling puppies. They are adopting out puppies. And you can use the donate to charity button in the bottom right of the stream if you want to support APA. Space, he's trying to kill me. He's going to end my life. Please. 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 
No. I got him. I got him. I got him. Pinned. Alright. This one's cute. He's got like half. Oh, so, so sorry. He has like a half dark face. <laughs> He's cute. He's cute. Your sharp teeth. I need to bite my nose off. Oh my god. He wants chat. Good. That's messed up. <laughs> Do you like? They taste good. Said help. Oh. Is this the wrong app? You just swipe the platform. No, it's like my old activity feed. It's just this, right? Yeah. Or is it the other one? Is this oh, one? It's that one yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. Hold. Chat was messing with chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Novi, thank you for the ten. Nicoel, thank you for the five. Um, thank you so much. Ouchie. You guys would do great with like a puppy cam. You guys ever thought about that? Like throwing one up in the just corner. Just like a live cam? Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, chat would probably, my chat would watch this all day. <laughs> I would watch it all day too. I can't lie. Is a foster fail returning them? No, like you fail fostering them and then you adopt them. Hold on, there's a dono. Hold on, I'm refreshing. I'm refreshing. Usual, thank you for the $25. Is that the mom in the back? Yes. That that's Celeste. She's the mom. She's very, very sweet. Hi. Such a good girl. Hi, girly. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what's going on? Why are you filming yeah. me? <laughs> Thank you, Mick. She's like, what is that? <laughs> Good girl. <clears throat> yeah, so we wanted to name an eighth dog Maya for you. Aww, but <laughs> unfortunately, there's How already a Maya. And... My coworkers just told me that she is getting adopted today. Yay! And that's so what, fun. This is Maya. Aw, sweet. <laughs> if you can see that, it's going to be on a phone, so it might be tough. But They can see that. Hi, you're very cute. Aww. You guys getting tired? Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Your little face. Oh, drama. Please. All right, guys. I have a whole tiny mic video to film. I should... Chad, do you have any questions for me to ask these puppies, actually, now that they're awake? Because they're all about to pass out. I got two left. What should I ask these puppies? They are tired out now. Oh, my God. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh, please. Please. Chad, hurry. Hurry. What's this one's name? I don't even know. Oh gosh. <laughs> Chat, help, who's this? Who is that? Quick identify. <laughs> Garbazard? Oh god. You're just saying forcing because you want to. I know this is not forcing. <laughs> okay. Garbazard, how do you feel about the nickname Garby? Thank you. All right, really got in there. <laughs> that was excellent. Um, I forget, what's the one with the half faces name? Um, half face, sorry, I'm looking right now for you. Oh, you're good, I was, they'll know too. Okay, cool. Stompy. Stompy, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Okay, thank you.
Thank you. Dude, this one was like gnawing on my elbow when I was doing that. It hurt. <laughs> Stop, Garvey. You're out of control. You're out of control. Go to bed. <laughs> He's getting sleepy. Everyone's getting sleepy. Dude. <laughs> Garby's got some Garby's energy. Garby's crazy. <laughs> Wipe out. Beep, 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 beep. Nightwing, thank you for the twenty-five dollars. Thank you, thank you. Garby, what's your favorite thing about being a puppy? Thank you. <laughs> that, was, that was a very thorough answer. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. You're amazing. You are so good. You need to go to sleep. You need to recharge. <laughs> Guys, who wants Garbazard? <laughs> somebody, somebody needs to take him. <laughs> He needs out of the pen ASAP. Oh, no. <laughs> Nightwing, thank you for the 25. Thank you for the 25. <laughs> thank you for the sub. All right, let me see if I can get a sleepy puppy without Garbazard harassing me. Thank you for the five. Oh, you're gonna wake him up? I just interviewed you. <laughs> Stompy, what's your favorite color? Thank you. <laughs> um, a sleepy one. I think this is Forsen. Forson, what's your favorite thing about Minecraft? Cool. You are problematic. You. Chat? Chat? <laughs> Relax. That one, the one you did. This one? Oh, whoops. Please. Oh. All right, you guys. Chatters. What is the amount at right now? Oh my gosh, please. Oh no, you're stuck. What are we at? $7,193. Wow. Oh my god, please. Thank y'all. Thank so you. Oh, he's gonna get it off. <laughs> Do you want to see chat? Look. Look. <laughs> he doesn't care now that it's <laughs> off. He's just he's strategizing. See, they're saying hi. Oh. He's giving them hugs. That's nice. <laughs> He broke it. <laughs> Stand by. We'll reset. Um, okay, guys, thank you so much if you donated today. That is so cool. We raised way more than I expected. Thank you so much. It's awesome. Um, they obviously do a ton of really cool work here. If you want to learn more about the work that they do or see the whole facility, you can click back in the VOD. We did a tour at the beginning. We met adult dogs, we met cats, we met kittens. Um, very fun, cool stream. Pretty much all of the animals that you met on stream today, almost all the animals you met on stream today are adoptable. So if you're in Austin or you're in Texas, you better get your butts over here. If you're looking for a pet, these were all great. 
Um, your donations are huge for supporting organizations like this. It's a nonprofit. They have a lot of cats and dogs to take care of. They did over 10,000 adoptions last year. Um, they've done over 100,000 rescues in their lifetime. Um, so very, very cool and a no-kill shelter and like a last resort shelter for all of these animals. So they're doing really, really important work. I know we don't usually do stuff with domestics on my stream, um, but this has been very, very fun. Thank you so much for watching. You're gonna de-glove my finger if you keep biting it like that. Oh my God, please. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Jeff, thank you so much. Thank um, you all so much. This was way beyond the <laughs> past what we expected and yeah, y'all were course. incredible. Maya, you were awesome today, so thank you so much. It has been a pleasure and thank you all for the donations. It will help so much more than you guys know over the next year, so really appreciate that, y'all. Jeff and Juan, they've been wonderful. Guys, if you want to spam um, their socials, APA socials, they have an Instagram, they have a Twitter, maybe you guys can get some updates on some of the pets that we saw today. I'm going to go ahead and film this tiny mic. <laughs> Um, so there will be a, t <laughs> there will be a tiny mic on YouTube, um, of some of their pets here. So, so you'll see more of them on there and I will see you guys Friday for a keeping stream. Um, that is all more donations. Thank you so much. Curse for the $5, Duke with $15, Hunton for the $10. Thank you. Um, hit $7,200 today. Thank you so much. That is so cool. Um, I really, really appreciate it. You guys really, really appreciate the donations today. There were so many. You guys were so generous. Um, the puppies, have they're tuckered out. Even this one, you can tell. <laughs> He's fighting it, but he wants to go to sleep. I can see it in his eyes. I can, don't worry. I can see it in his eyes. What was that? Did you just notice? Oh, <laughs> did you just notice Brian? A TTS? Thank you for the <laughs> Okay, you guys. I will see you on Friday if you're looking for a pet come check this out go follow them everywhere go donate to them if you didn't donate today I started the raid so I should be able to send it through soon it's time to go to sleep <laughs> it's time it's time oh no I'm sorry <laughs>